Welcome back, everybody. It is 2024. New year, new me. Yeah. Are you new year, new year? I am. I'm not, you know, because I actually ended last year. Like, well, we both did. Yeah. We ended last year strong. Yeah, we started We started earlier. Yeah, we did. And I feel like, because, oh, by the way, but let me tell you something. Yep. So I, we're saying all that, right? And I, on New Year's, I got the drunkest I've been probably all of all last year to the point where I don't remember what happened mm. on like certain and that's bad oh. I I woke up anxiety filled my chest yeah oh I yeah open my phone I see a message to George Clark right oh, and yeah. it's me apologizing at like 2 a.m and I'm thinking like no oh, <laughs> what have I done what's going on so I've I've, I've spoken to my girlfriend and yeah. they're like what happened and she's there like you poured a drink over Randy's head on their couch and it went all over their couch. And I'm there like, and then, and then it, he's, then she's telling me that I like grabbed George by like the scruff of his thing here and like pulled his sweater and like stretched it. And like, and I was there like, nah, like what? There's no way. Oh, and so shit, bro. I don't know how I don't, cause sometimes she likes to exaggerate it, you yeah, know? So I don't know how bad I actually was, but I'm too scared to like follow up and actually find out. So this is my, I just thought, you know what? I'll come on the podcast. And I'll publicly apologize to George Clark and Randolph and you'd they can be, let me know right. if I was actually bit. I'll you'd, let be, you know. you'd be all right. So what you went, you a little party. Yeah, but it, we only did the party because we knew you were away. No, I was I was invited. No, you weren't invited. Bro. I got the invite of Chris. Pretend. Like I got a special little leaflet and all that. Yeah, it says Happy New Year. We were, you know, when you turned up to the party, we were the only, we were the first ones there, and we were already two hours late. So I thought oh, we, we'd made whoa. a massive mistake. Oh wow. Did a lot of people go in the end though? No, nah, it, it was a it was a pretty small party, anyways. Like a like a friends yeah, gathering, yeah, which more. was nice. I prefer that. Yeah, um, and they have a they have a wonderful house with a great view of the fireworks. So yeah, it was. Um, look, it was. I think it was good. I was just you know call it the Sunday scaries. The Sunday scary. Yeah, like you know, you, you go out on a yeah. Saturday night, you wake up on Sunday, and you just got like that feeling in your stomach yeah. that you were a piece of shit last beer night. Beer fear. Yeah, beer fear, shit like that. Yeah, um, um, what'd you get up to, Chip? I went to a farm, Soho Farmhouse. That was nice. By the way, that's how members only. You can only go there uh, if you're if you're like Chip and you vote Tory. So that's crazy. I do vote Tory. Um, I don't really. Or do I? It's very, it's it's touchy now because if you say like, bro, the smallest thing, if you get. People get onto you over fucking anything these days. Yeah, anyway. that's what I realized coming back to the YouTube comments. I'm reading some of the comments. I'm going I'm just like, like, damn, why man. the fuck do you give a shit? I kind of miss yeah. it on Spotify. Like YouTube, they just be hammering you. I'll be sat there like, yeah, I'm, I'm, my career's fucking finished now. I made a TikTok and it was like a slide saying, calling me a Tory basically and um mm -hmm. someone commented saying, why would you joke about something so serious? Yeah, no, just oh, like, man. you gotta go outside. You oh, can't 2024, go outside. Yeah. Yeah, we need to bring it back, man. We used to be able to joke about anything back in the day. Yeah, we got to be, yeah. I, I tell you one thing yep. uh, I got a big question for, and you got to be honest with me on this one. Yeah, is it, first of all, uh, you posted your like, was it 2023 like roundup? The first pick was you and the missus. Like, that's worried me a lot. That's put a lot of like fear yeah. into me just that I think that, I think I might have lost you. <laughs> 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 I looked at it. Oh. Yeah, no, no, no. I looked at it. I started getting emotional. I was like, my boy's gone. <laughs> <He's> gone. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> like tears in my eyes. No, no yeah, man. 2023 round up being the missus. I, I didn't have any good pictures. Did of me. you feel pressure for that first bit? Now, no, be honest with me. Did I was, you feel any pressure? I was going to post a picture of myself, but then I was like, damn, man. Like, I don't have any good pictures of myself. I don't really take pictures like that. Mm. So I was like, fuck, I've only got this one of the missus. She was like, oh, post that one. And I was like, yeah, but I'm not tagging. <laughs> like, no tag. Oh, was it no tag? No tag. No, no tag. tag. Yeah, no yeah, tag. yeah, yeah. Respect the game. You, well, the picture was from you in New York. You went to New York, man. I did, went to, I did go to How New was York. How was that? Yeah, amazing. Love it. Just cold outside. The only day. Actually, you know what, bro? <laughs> it wasn't to cold. New York what in even, December. What even that cold, though? Said, yeah, it was cold. <laughs> no, nah, obviously, obviously, every time I go there, I'm always like, damn, this is a bit nippy, isn't it? <laughs> it's a bit chilly. Yeah. Uh, but no, Prod, Prod was there. 
Yeah, it was yeah, like, you know, it was like went, 11 degrees. It, it was, was uh, yeah, it weren't as bad as it was before, like last time being in blizzards and that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Fucking crazy. Weather, man. Crazy lad. Um yeah, but Prod, we went to New York. Well, mm. we didn't go together. No. I booked it and then Prod seen that I was going so Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course cuz I mean you can do that sort of disposable income thing where you book trips last minute. <laughs> I booked this a year in advance. So actually you copy me. <laughs> Damn, I didn't even know you could do that, you know. You booked it through Thomas Cook. He was prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Ryanair's new budget flights nah, to New York. No, to be fair, booking your flights in advance like that is is a smart play they're way cheaper isn't it oh uh, i yeah that's just rich I, shit problems it's i would like, do i'll book it like the week before and i'm complaining about the price of the flights <laughs> no i would do that the reason why i don't actually book shit like that in advance is because i don't know the schedule yeah like if, if there's like a always... big filming day or there's, a, yeah. there's a, an event you always that that is that is something to keep in I mind i guess about. for you as well you boys because you work for yourselves technically yeah. it's mm-hmm. like you control your rotor whereas for me if i book something yeah. a year in advance i say to you boys like yeah, yeah, can I book it? And off? you still so managed different. to pick the worst time of the yeah, year yeah, to I go. Know, I know. Like, the launch, everything. But um, how, how how was New York? Did you like it? Did you do anything cool? Yeah, it's just always the same vibe, innit? Holiday. Yeah. What was the best thing? What's the best thing about New York? What's the best thing about New York, bro? Uh, you know what? I want to hear your thoughts because your first time. So, on. my favorite bits that I did was the top of the rock because we went for sunset. It was mm-hmm. incredible. Mm. But then I also thought the comedy cellar that we went to was unbelievable. unbelievable. As well. it took, him to, took him to the one that I went to last time. Yeah. Unbelievable. What's it called for the people? Com- comedy cellar. Comedy cellar on McDougal Street. <laughs> <laughs> What's the postcode? <laughs> Zip code, pal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's unbelievable though. Um, especially when you go with like loads of people. Oh, but to be fair, right? We took the girls and Matt, they don't stop fucking yapping, <laughs> right? It's you a comedy night. So You're meant pissed. to like be quiet and respectful because yeah. why they only serve a few drinks to so people don't get fucking leathered. Um, but all, me and the lads are all sat there listening, laughing along here and there. The girls just yapping away about like makeup and shit. What? They're, <laughs> they're, having, they're, having, a se- they're having a separate <laughs> combo. No nah, separate way. Combo. Nah, <laughs> separate combo. That would do my head. You know, I'd say just go to a bar, like leave, leave. <laughs> The comedians were asking where everyone was from. So they said, ah, anyone from London? And then they all cheered and we all cheered, went, yeah. And then he kind of like aired us. So then they <laughs> cheered again. And then I think they tripled down because he missed him a second time. So they kept making noise about the fact we're from the UK. It's like, he don't care, bro. Wow. He don't care. Was he a good act? There was some of them were stinky. Yeah. The best one was English? The freestyle rapper. Yeah. Yeah, he was sick. Yeah. Chris, um, Shit, was his was name? he English? Yeah, he was from he was English, but he lives in New York. Yeah, it was like some English comedian. But yeah, no, that was a good night. Um, you we guys went like, to, linked up and went on like nights out. And yeah, stuff. went on a night out, didn't we? We went to uh, went to some gaff. Yeah, you want to talk about anxiety the next day? Yeah, we got in at four thirty, and I said we we'll, won't we'll have an early one. We won't have a late one because we're flying the next day. Our flight was at six p.m. Yep, woke up at 12 to our like person who owns, owns the Airbnb knocking on the door for us to check out. Look at my phone. Our flight's been fucking cancelled. So this like moment, I was just like, what the fuck is happening? And that is like the ultimate anxiety I've ever experienced. But it was all calm. Got on another flight. Oh, but, well, on the same, that was fine. Just yeah, pretty flight. much same time. Just different airport. Oh, fine. Yeah. I was sad when you left, you know, Prod. Why? The vibe changed. You were just stopped with Theo. New York, <laughs> New, New York weren't the same. Yeah, went to where? Oi, Prod, what's that neighborhood called again? Dumbo. Did you go there? Yeah, I did no, a run no, there. No, 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 the place with the Christmas lights. Oh, yeah, um, Diker Heights. Diker Heights, yeah, you heard about this place. No. Nah. That was my first time going there. It's in Brooklyn, right? Uh, yeah, it's like proper South Brooklyn. Yeah, you have to get like a one hour train, you know, a little sea train. Oh, you're getting on a train? Yeah, I, bro, I, did, I, got, I got a taxi once in New York, I think. Metro. Really, you just hit. Uh, I, you see all those TikToks of like the crazy stuff happening Bro, on the New York Metro. It is, crazy. is it like that? Is yeah, it weird yeah. when you're in there? I it heard it's weird. sketchy as hell. It is weird. The New York Metro is it is dodgy shit. It's always going on in there. Someone's someone's always singing or there's a yeah. boombox in there. Some something weird is always yeah. happening. I I seen a clip actually of you know Hosier, Hosier, yeah, Hosier. <laughs> How do you say his name? Hosier, Hosier, yeah. He was doing like a busking thing there, and I was there like that is also just very New York to have like a super big musician just like casually busking or whatever yeah in where well, you wouldn't get that not ed sheeran's not gonna be on london underground is he <laughs> no but uh, there's there's fucking rats and all sorts just king rats cutting about really yeah no i i like the subway though you get around really quick yeah i mean it's the same with london though that's the way to get around something about london underground that irks me though 
don't know what it is. I think it's it's just always really busy. Yeah. Whereas I didn't really probably was the Met, the New York Metro busy for you. Yeah, cause I think at times it was because I was doing like a commuter trip because where we were staying in Brooklyn was like to the central mm. uh, so center of Manhattan. Get, you were so getting I on you with the just, nine to fivers. Yeah, yeah, there, kind of. Yeah, it's probably the thing is I was probably going outside of those hours, but when I was there, it was just nice. You chill, you walk on. Most of the time, you even getting a seat. Yeah, that's good. But I'm probably yeah, I'm probably going a, a non rush hour. Uh, so what yeah, are you giving? Nice. What are you giving New York out of ten? I want to hear it for, actually no. Let me hear it from Prod first. What are you giving it out of ten? <clears throat> I'm gonna give it overall an eight point five. That's all nice chip, because it was it? tad expensive. It is. Ex- it, it is expensive in it. Yeah, I probably give it like something similar. I give it a nine. Nine. Yeah. Yeah. I really give it a nine. Like I lo- like as in the trip itself or the yeah. place. Oh, now give me the place. Yeah, the place is, is a nine. There's not much better. I love going there. As, a, like, ci- it, as a city it's holiday. It's genuinely that, like a, a movie when I go there. I, I love it. <laughs> I could live there for a few months probably. It's hectic, yeah. but you're used to it. If you're used to London, you're used to that hectic kind yeah, of yeah, lifestyle. Yeah. Um, no, I love it. I though. got a question, product. Okay, so first of all, congratulations. Yeah. You are engaged. Oh, thank you, sir. Yeah, that, oh, shit. Yeah, well done. Yeah. yeah that, uh, but I got a question, right? Why didn't you just do it in New York? So... I actually have a story about this. So, and Chip and Sabina knew that I had the ring because I was getting it made, but it wasn't going to be finished in time for me to go to New York because I, I didn't want to necessarily definitely do it in New York, but I wanted to have it with me in case the moment was there. Mm. And wow, it, really? So you were yeah. actually willing to just freestyle? Yeah, this is the thing. And I didn't really deep how like risky that is. Yeah. So on our anniversary, because it was our anniversary whilst we we're out there, I had the ring on me all day. Um, and yeah, it was just in my pocket all day. And I was like, right, the only place I feel like that could be nice and quiet would be Central Park, mm-hmm. get there full of tourists. Yeah, and there's yeah, no yeah, leaves on the busy. trees. It's all a bit gray, a bit miserable. So I was like, this is not the vibe for me. You're um, crazy, you know? Yeah. I'm sorry, but if that's me, I'm like planning it down to the exact thing. You've just freestyled that. I did, but then I also realized this is probably really stupid, freestyling it to this degree. It's a huge yeah. moment. So then I was just like, nah do it back in Bournemouth which was the original plan anyway so yeah, yeah. but I told and Chip before it happened because he was going to have to bring the ring out in case it wasn't done in time had that inside intel oh nice that cheeky little intel yeah because yeah. I was like damn has it happened yet I was waiting for you to post yeah. whilst we were in New York and I messaged uh, I messaged, messaged his girlfriend us. saying like because we were meeting up the next day I was like don't say anything to Izzy because like I basically yeah. didn't like I kind of bigged it up in my head that I was going to do it yeah. but then I said don't say anything to Izzy because she didn't really know that I was kind of gonna do it if that yeah, makes yeah, sense yeah yeah and so yeah so wait is he had no clue um i think she she must have an she instant. sort of expected there could be something on our anniversary but because when it got to the anniversary and it hadn't like planned anything special yeah. she was like ah oh, it's probably not gonna happen now yeah yeah, yeah yeah or you seen them tiktoks where girls do like is he proposing to me or am i just going to new york and then they do is he proposing to me or oh, yeah, is, yeah. has has he asked me to get my nails done for no reason and they do like this they put their hand like this like in front of the camera and the whole time for the ring and then it, um you most of them end up with um them getting proposed to wherever they're off to and mm-hmm. then it pops up and uh, those tiktoks always go mad viral so i'm expecting that one from from sabina when it <laughs> when it's happening. i'm gonna catch her so off guard she's gonna have no fucking clue we're just gonna be back in old on one day and outside far- <laughs> outside farm foods i'm on one knee <laughs> I've got the ring in one hand, ready, ready made mac and cheese in the other. <laughs> the choice is yours, love. <laughs> now, you'll be glad to know there are no ads on this because we're going broke. So instead, I'm just going to promote our own Clips channel. Make sure you go and check out our Clips channel. There'll be a link down below. Subscribe to that. Um, we just think it's cleaner having it separate. And we know some of you guys don't have the time to watch full podcasts sometimes. So head on over to the Clips channel. Hit subscribe. And there's already some clips up there and I think you guys will enjoy it. So yes, link in the description. Enjoy. Well, while you two were doing up City Break, I went and did the complete opposite. Yeah, you did. You went to the Maldives. The Maldives. Damn, you got money, you know, because Maldives is so expensive. <sighs> Bro, and you know, every time I was t- chatting to Prob before the podcast here and I was just saying that like, every time I just like, I know it's going to be expensive when I get out of there, but every time I get the bill, I'm still shocked. What, like a I'm restaurant still- bill? or No, nah, just like, because the way it works is because each island is its own hotel. Okay. And so you are like, you have no choice but to eat there. Mm. And the prices are whatever they want to set it at. And the the hotel that I went to um, was amazing. It was actually called uh, Anantara Kiava. That was the name of the hotel. Mm. So people can have a little look see of that. But um, 
like for to put into context, like on average, I would, so your breakfast is always included. So that's fine. But your lunch and your dinner isn't. And on average, you're spending between 300 to 500 pounds for a lunch for two people. Nah, that's every day. Yeah. And then you go and then so dinner is, is like, you're looking insane. at like a minimum 500 pound. That is, yeah. that is crazy. So you, you end up spending like, I, 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 and at the end of my thing, I was spending um, uh, at least a thousand pounds a day on food, drink and activities. Whoa. Yeah. Damn. I didn't realize it was th that it's expensive. Mad. Yeah. Damn. Well, I, mean, I ain't but, going but there. I, I was also saying I there, there's, like, there's like tiers of resorts that you can go to. Mm. So you have like the ultra, ultra luxe ones, yep. which are, yeah, mega, and they're even more expensive than what is it like? You'd be looking for, let, let's say, for like a 10 night stay, you'd be looking at like 60, 70 grand. But no, and that's just for the accommodation. And then you've got, and then you've, then you've got your thousand pound a day on top of that, right? And then the, the next tier down is probably like, you probably spend about 20 grand for your accommodation. Um, and it's still your thousand pound on top of that. And then there's the tier below, which is probably about, I don't know, like six to 10,000 for your accommodation. But below that, and this might sound a bit, bit wankery, but I actually don't think I'd go to the Maldives if you were, if you weren't willing to spend probably about six grand on your accommodation, because that's the true, like when you think of the Maldives experience, mm. that's probably the minimum you're going to have to spend to get what's in your head. Yeah. And if, it, if you were to go and spend less, I just don't think that you would get the experience that you've built up. And so no matter what, I think you'd go there being disappointed. Yeah. Um, but it is also the best place on earth. Oh, damn. Like, I know I you're spending outrageous day. money, but it is just hands down the go. What do you get up to like day to day? Is there enough to do? Yeah, I, th I think there's enough to do, but it's also like, look, you go in there, you don't be expecting to be on some crazy adventure. Yeah. Stuff. I'm quite lucky because I, I, I've got like my diving um, qualification. So I would just go diving. Yeah. Uh, see some cool shit. It was amazing. Like the diving out there is amazing. You can go snorkeling. I went fishing. I, I booked the fishing and then the guy texts me. He's like, okay, cool. Make sure you're on the dock at 5 a.m. I was like, bro, it's pitch black at 5 a.m. What, what do you mean? Being, are you sure? And he's there like, yeah, we go out. And the fish aren't sleeping at 5 a.m. Wow. We're, we're going to catch him. So we went out there, caught those three. But, oh, but let me tell you. So when you go to these places, obviously you're surrounded by other people mm. that have that type of disposable money too, mm -hmm. which often includes extremely wealthy older men with much younger. Partners. What like, so you like talking about like those 65, 70 year old blokes with like 25 year old girls? Russian. Russian blokes or girls? Both. <laughs> that this place, like, Russia runs that shit. Like you go there and it, it is like that. And then the craziest one was I sat down or at lobster and champagne night. It's pretty normal. Yeah. Yeah. And then I look over to my right and there's a table of three. That's, that's, that's weird. Three adults at a table. Little thruple. And that's exactly what it was. It was a thruple. It was an older man, a, a, a woman similar age. And then like this young Asian girl. Actually, let me not say young Asian girl. She she would have been in her 20s. Yeah. But just compared to them, they were young. And the dynamic of that was insane. So I'm watching. Whoa. And he's like rubbing her thigh or like under the table like this, but then like patting his wife's back at the <laughs> same time. Bros, jewel wielding women. It was what crazy. The, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. And so I'm watching this. And then they would be like, so they'd go up to go get, um, like their lobster at the where they're cooking it and stuff. So they, they all three of them would get up, and like he would only ever pay the wife attention when he was away, like away from the table. So he would go up with it, and and then the the younger woman would go like separately her way. But then when they came back to the table, the guy, the old guys, just like stroking the younger one's arm, and I'm just there like, yo, this is like it's something that I would expect if you were in a throuple like to do at home. But to come out, to have the audacity to roll around like a resort like this and be so openly yeah. doing this it was just mental. And I could see like everyone was everyone was fascinated by the story. And I was just thinking like the sex must be nuts. <laughs> Yo, it, it wasn't it wasn't it David Hay that was in a throuple. You know, he still is. He's but it, it, the way they, they 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 do like transfer market announcements when there's someone else joins the throuple. Um yeah. See, look here. They'll be there like uh, a new third has joined David Hayes. Uh, Whoa. Ruffle. Yeah, there you go. Inside David Hayes' third thruple as he dates sexy businesswoman. Yeah. So this guy just has like 
It's just a way of saying he just wants to shag different birds. Yeah, what's it called when you're in like open relationship? Like yeah, that? that's it. No, there's like a there's like a term, isn't there? Uh, polyamorous. Is that actually what it is? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, polyamorous. Yeah, that's where you got like multiple. Could you imagine that? I know someone actually who Go was on. polyamorous, and they were in a relationship with someone for years. I'm potentially think they were engaged, but it was like they could still see other people as well. And they ended up seeing someone else who, you know, was the third party. Yeah. Wasn't necessarily agreed upon in terms of like, they didn't join in all together, but he'd see her outside of the relationship. Yeah. Ended up realizing when he was seeing that girl that he actually clearly didn't like the person that he was with that yeah, much. See? Because yeah, then he didn't want to be polyamorous anymore. He wanted to stay with that person full time. Yeah, see, it's, it's just cat, man. Like, I'm sorry, those things, those setups, it's just cat. Like you're lying to yourself. Yeah. Let's be honest. Hustle, like you just want to go around and pork other people. Have you seen those? Like they did documentaries where it, like the guy, but it will be like, oh, my wife is polyamorous, mm. but not me. And then they're like, so just say that you're a cuck, bro. Don't try and dress it up. Like they'll be there like, oh yeah. So I let my wife go and see other men. And it's, and it, I swear it's Louis through doing this interview. I, I'm, I'm certain it's him. And he's going, and, and they're like, and he goes to him like, how, how does that make you feel when you know that she's out like spending time with other men and like spending the night? And he's there like, it's okay as long as she's happy. Oh, like that, you know what I'm no. saying? And they're like, grow a fucking pair, no, bro. He's what are you the doing? on the chair, wanking. Just wanking. Damn, they the do idea. that in Vegas, don't they? Casinos like these swingers and that. Yes. Uh, swing, is swinging the same thing? Mm. Uh, no, swinging's when you're in a couple and you get another couple yeah. involved. Oh, so okay. you basically just like chop and change, like a foursome, basically. That brings me on. I don't know if we're just flying through loads of different topics because we got so much to talk about in this pod. But I got one other thing. Have you guys been on cruise ship talk? Yeah, bro. No. The about this new one. Yeah, yeah. But have you been about? So they've started the Royal Caribbean. Um, this a year-long one. cruise. Wow. So people have paid two hundred grand to go on this cruise for the entire year, right? And a lot of it is obviously older people with like their retirement funds and they've just like brought everything in here. Um, and they're on this uh, cruise for an entire year straight. Now, obviously there's drama. It's like its own reality TV, but through TikTok. And one, one site, yeah, and you get, there's going to be loads. Yeah, here you go. A nine month Ooh. cruise is TikTok's favorite new reality show. And I'm telling you guys, you've got to get down into this. It's mental. It's all like kicking off because they had, they created like a, kind of like a board. And these people will make decisions uh -huh. for the rest of the people staying on the crew. Sorry, uh, so the rest of people staying on the cruise. And, and people are now kicking off at like the the board saying they don't represent our actual interests. Like it's all wait, going wait. mad. Hold up. Like what kind of stuff do they do they have to like go over? Like what are they deciding? What kind of decisions are they making for the I, cruise? I, you, that's a good question. I don't actually know exactly. I just seen the complaints about it, but I'd highly recommend guys getting dialed into this on TikTok. You'll end up in the deepest rabbit hole ever. Um, and one of them is where, um, the way I got sucked in. And the reason why I'm talking about the swingers thing yeah. is because this one couple of, they're like, Hey, we're like, it's an older couple. They're like, Hey, we're on this cruise and we're going to give you a tour of our place. And it starts off with a pineapple on the door, on their door. And a pineapple usually represents that if you have that on a cruise, it means that you are a swinging couple. Needs to be an upside down pineapple. It does need to be an upside down thing, but they didn't have it upside down pineapple. They had a normal one, but let me continue because people still think that this is a swinging couple. So they do this, right? This, uh, yeah, they, they, they have this pineapple in and you go around and obviously the room's like kind of big, but the way the room is set up is it's got a bed, right? And they've moved all the furniture around in the room so much so that the couch is facing the bed. And it's there like, why? The, it, it, and it's like in the middle of the room. It, it's not like, oh, I'll move this around so it feels more like- It looks dodgy. It, 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 mate, it's so like bait that something is happening there. And so everybody in the comments is jumping in and going, oh my God, these, these guys are part of the swinger and they're on yep. this cruise. And so words now going around with all the, all the other people staying on the cruise that these guys are swingers. 
couple days later, this couple posts, or sorry, the woman that did the thing is sat on the couch and she's got a sign here that says like Royal Caribbean Cruise and she's holding the sign. It genuinely feels like a hostage video. And she's essentially made an announcement video on her TikTok saying, hey, I wanted to be clear that we are not swingers, da da da, like, almost like a fucking PR statement that the Royal Caribbean Cruise made them say, because it might have like looked bad or seedy, you know? Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know, yeah, like 100%. in some part of sex uh, They don't cruise. want it to come across like that. Yeah, yeah, so I don't know whether, but it feels like Royal Caribbean Cruise got a gun behind the camera saying, hold this sign that says Royal Caribbean Cruises yeah. Yeah. And she's there like, I want to be very clear that it's not a crew that I, we're not swingers. All this shit. I'm there like, whoa. Whoa, I need to I need to check this. This is out. mad. Like, boys, get stuff. on this side of TikTok. It's going nuts. So if you wanted to know where the pineapple thing came from, it's yeah. because an upside down pineapple cake was served in Hawaii as a symbol of hospitality. So I'm guessing the upside down pineapple is a symbol of hospitality. Hospitality being fuck my wife. Yeah. Yeah. What well, whoa. Hold yeah. up. Hear me out though, by the way, because I, I was I was speaking about this with my girlfriend. I reckon, you know what you see when you get to like 60, 70 and you're in the final stretch. You must, I'll be getting on this shit. I'm on what you're on. <laughs> nah, yeah, seriously, 100%. bro. Nah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. why not? Like yeah. literally why I, not? I, I, Especially yeah. you've been with someone for like 40, 50 years, yeah? Fuck what, it. You're just trying to try something new, bro. <laughs> yeah, just like, imagine you've been with someone that long. You're just like, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, why not? You love, you love them enough to be with them that long. Why not? That might like turn me into a fucking pretzel. <laughs> have you seen the video of tyrone woodley <laughs> he's had a stinker man off the bat this is you haven't seen it have you seen it Jim? yes yeah no i haven't have seen, you it. seen it elite video off the bat poor tyrone is woodley. it gay if you get beat up <laughs> don't no 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 bro bro no no no, no oh no. shit okay no, no no you don't pull this up on the thing so there's just a if you it, hit images though bro quick hit images <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he? <laughs> He's yamming some girl's box. <laughs> <laughs> He's going this... crazy on it. That meme's so good, though. Yeah. And um, uh, by the way, what scumbag leaks that <clears throat> stuff, though? Yo, um, it's so funny, though, because you just see like his eyes and his like trim. And you just see him going crazy. No one's, down there. No one's gonna look Bro's, good. like ducking and weaving on that thing. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> crazy game. No, but for real though, good video. <laughs> you got a good, mark. good, good video. Yeah. Yes, but Mark saved. Everything's, <laughs> everything's. It's got his own tab. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, look here. Yeah, there's another one. We keep saying this. I know one of the boys, yeah, yep. that has uh, a separate Twitter account. Just for like mad <laughs> shit. Nah, if you if you get your shit from Twitter, you are down bad. <laughs> you know what is bad? Here, here, here. Listen to this. Sometimes I'll just be scrolling through like Twitter's got pretty bad with all the yeah, it has. with all the nudity and stuff because I'll just be scrolling and I'll click on a viral tweet and it's uh and then the first five replies uh, are just oh, like bullshit. some girl doing yeah. something nuts to themselves. And then those viral accounts like promote them as well but yeah. they get paid to like do dodgy promotions. Yeah. And it's like you can't avoid that because you've you're here for the viral tweet and next thing you know I'm and imagine for, yeah. I'm scrolling that next to my girlfriend she's thinking like what? 100% yeah I'm, I'm here for memes and next thing you know I've fucking scrolled onto a cream pie <laughs> and I've yeah. got Tyrone Woodley just <laughs> yeah, I mean, we've all been there with Twitter though we've like we've needed to use it though because like the internet's blocked certain sites and stuff you've not been there <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, nah, but like if you're on an internet connection that just like blocks adult sites, you're like, fuck it, Twitter will sort me out. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> where oh, you nah, where was it? He's in North Korea, desperate for a fucking Where fight. have you been? I'm trying to think. I'm pretty sure I've been like staying like at a friend's house or like, <laughs> oh, wait, or wait, somewhere, yeah, where they've got so, that. Sorry, bro. My mom's blocked the porn, mate. You're going to have to wheel this one up. <laughs> they've on got that too. Virgin Media blocked 18 yeah. only. Bro, I've got that at home, man. I have to use, really? <laughs> I have to use a VPN in my own gas. <laughs> No, you fucking don't. <laughs> That's so bad. Oh, I have to go on my phone and turn the wife. <laughs> turn the Wi-Fi off. <laughs> Hotspot. <laughs> nah, you know what? That's so bad. That means your mum knows that you're a filthy you know little piggy. I, I get bad signal. 
You get banned on TikTok. No, I get bad signal in my gut. <laughs> Should be buffering. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrendous. Oh. Now, because I could go and change the quality down to full <laughs> AP. <laughs> <laughs> pixelated nut that's gotta be one of the worst yeah you already know uh all right the next thing i wanted to talk about <laughs> was uh sean mills is, sean is it mills or millis, millis, I think. millis. oh yeah, um, go. yeah I, I feel bad you know i knew this was gonna happen by the way so as soon as oiland scored right everybody on twitter just switched on him and went Thank God I ain't got to see that scumbag. Like that, that, that. Everyone before was like, yeah, this is wholesome. Let's get him to number one. And then finally Hoyland bagged. And he goes, I never want to see this man's face on the timeline again. Like, <laughs> well, what the hell? I, I, I love this Sean Millis guy. He's actually so nice and wholesome, he is. isn't he? He's amazing. Like, he's a really nice, just seems like a really nice guy. Um, did he actually, uh, his song, it didn't go like number one, like yeah. in the official charts, but it went number one on something. It yeah, went number viral, one on most viral, viral, UK kind of viral. Yeah, it's it's amazing. a heater though. Waiting on a miracle to come. <laughs> I'll be sat there like, yeah. <laughs> you know that Jay-Z meme, will it? <laughs> <laughs> now, but you know what? It was so sad because he was like, I've never won anything in my life. Yeah. And oh, it's so peak. Oh, no, no, no. It, it was wholesome peak, though. It, was wholesome. it is wholesome. Yeah. And it's nice to see that. And you know what? Fair play to, to football Holland, Twitter for, for knows, actually being like, uh, to be fair, they, they started with bad intentions. Let's be honest. Oh, 100%. To, to mock it. But eventually I think everybody realized that there's no need to mock it. This can be like a good meme and he yeah. can win as and well. And he can actually sing like he's got a great voice and he does. songs are low key here. Um, yeah, has, Hoyland has seen it, hasn't he? he? Mate, there's no way. The, uh, Hoyland, as in, like, he's he online. It. Of course he's yeah, seen like, it. He's acknowledged in the changing it, room. He? I don't think people realize footballers, they're as locked in mm. as you, we are. Yeah. Just like they're on social media all the time. They have so much free time. People always think like, Oh, as if a footballer is going to see that. Have you seen like Garnacho's gone around following a bunch of football yeah, Twitter yeah, accounts? Yeah. Like these guys are chronically that. online he's, as well. He's definitely online. Yo, I couldn't, I, if I was a footballer, I wouldn't be online like that, you know, because these are get sick. <laughs> I'd Bro. just have to close the internet. Yeah. It's why That's Mason brave Mount. for him to yeah. follow the people. That's why know. Mason Mount came off Twitter, didn't he? Because he just couldn't deal with the stick. Yeah. Don't, don't blame him, man. But, but I, I was like, you say Twitter, but then like Instagram's just as bad. You get like those DMs, yeah. like one bad game or... <laughs> It's brutal, but at the same time, not no, no not to like be getting. I, I'm not saying getting onto people. It, no, no, getting onto people is okay, but it, there's obviously a line there mm. that people definitely cross it. But I'm also not a fan of people saying, "Oh, like you can't criticize, like yeah. you know, can't criticize people." Say like, "Yeah, you can. You can say what you want. You can. You, you yeah. can literally say what you want. You're allowed to have whatever opinions you have." But there is a, there's an obvious line, and Twitter definitely does fudge that line sometimes. But yeah, uh, it is pretty cool that. In this case, football Twitter came together because you know football Twitter doesn't always have the best rep, um, but they they came together and and it's nice. Like you said, that moment where the guy's like, "Oh, I never won anything in my life," and now look at him, there he is. He's up number one viral chart songs up. He turned it into a W, didn't he? he? Just like took it and went, "Yeah, fuck it, I'm running with this shit." Yeah, because he could have easily caught a, a big L. Yeah, if he if he was there, like Got pissed off about it, something like that. But he just embraced it. I knew, I knew Good he was onto it when he started doing yeah. like live stream watch alongs. <laughs> Did you see that? He's a Liver didn't he say he's a Liverpool fan? No. Yeah, he no. is. I now he doesn't watch football. No, he don't. But he said he was a Liverpool fan. Really? I think. Can we get a fact check on that? Pro? No. I could be way off, but I swear I've seen a couple things about that now. Really? But you know, hopefully now we've switched him over. <laughs> yeah, I think he's, he's got the United. Fan you go, I was a Liverpool uh, fan. I was. Yeah. So he switched up, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Nah, that's. Yeah, I got respect. That's crazy. I was a Liverpool fan. Now, bro's got United show. <laughs> I got respect. It. The thing is, he's done this at the wrong this time. Like, right now is the time to be a Liverpool fan and not a United fan. Yeah, yeah, fan, yeah. So. Now, he, now he's realised, oh, wait, we're, I fuck who it. the fuck come on watching it? We, yeah. Come watch us lose every week. Uh, speaking of uh, success stories, anyways, obviously we got the Sean Mills, but also there's a mad one sweeping the nation. I can't believe he's 16. <laughs> can't Lilla. believe he's 16. Oh, uh, it's joined. I love the memes. Yeah, where it's like all the rinsed ones. Like, like it's like the Kenilworth Road one. Wait, I got 25k likes on that tweet of the no way he's 16. It was Stephen Bunting walking out. Really? Yeah. yeah, oh. yeah. It's so so. Hey, to people that don't know. 
darts in the UK because I know we got a lot of I don't know I don't think the Aussies are into darts um, they, they feel it feels like they should they be. should 100% be on darts because it is an unbelievable sport I'll be honest I've only gotten into it since last year's uh, world championships yep. and I'm telling you man it is unbelievable the games are quick fast paced and there's uh, it, there's always opportunities for mad stuff to happen and it's, um, it's honestly so underrated I'd recommend people to watch the darts and uh, this is coming out literally tonight we're putting this out tonight Stanislav's got a bit of a mission on him and tonight we've got the semi-finals um, and there's this uh, lad Luke Littler yeah. who's 16 years old I right now keep in mind this it. sport is like just filled with like 40 year old mm. pub going guys that do this pretty much drunk yep uh, and the fact that there's a 16 year old and by the way it's not like oh like you know he's pretty good like nah he is like battering he beat five time world champ on his way to the semi-final like he's He's a favourite to win now. I don't. Is he the favourite? Potentially, because there's another guy called Luke Humphreys who's got to be. Who's got to be? I saw last night. I think that the bookies had him favourite. Really, he he probably is favourite now. MVG's gone. Yeah, uh, and so I, I went to the darts last night. Thanks, Proddy, for sorting that out. Uh, big thanks to the, to the PDC. Yeah, yeah, a little bit Larry. Was it good? No, nah, I didn't. Drink? Man, I was so hungover from my terrible. So did you not drink? Uh, I, I had to drink like one drink, and I couldn't. I couldn't do it. Um, there you go. Those are the the standards. So these are the odds. So yeah, Luke Humphreys is still uh, favorite to win it now. Luke is second yep. though, and let me tell you, like this guy, he's so genuine. Mm. And I mean, he's just constantly smiling because, like, imagine it, it's the same idea as some really young lad getting into like the Champions League final and playing against like Mbappe or Haaland yeah, or like, being, like Messi, being, Ronaldo. Being, like, that's the like, level, level we're talking about here. And it, oh, bro, it's so cool to see. And uh, he's also he's got like a, his showmanship. Like when he's on stage, like, there was a clip of him where he like turns around. And he's asking like the crowd, like, "Oh, what do you want me to hit?" Mm. Like that is was mid, like that yeah. is mad. I like that though. That's not, I'm on, I'm gonna watch it tonight. I haven't watched any of this dart stuff. Yeah, you gotta watch it. We're yeah, in the we'll semifinals. You might is as well. It, is it is it on every night? Yeah, well, it has been since yeah, like Christmas. The only time they haven't had it on is like um, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, obviously, and like New Year's Eve. Yeah. yeah. So it's yeah, it's on all is the time. The semifinals tonight. Yeah, semifinals tonight. And is he and then. Is he he's in, in it? it. Yeah, I mean, he's in it. He's in, uh, who's he? Who's he, is it? Rob Cross. He's, he's playing Rob Cross. Yeah, yeah. and then you got Scott Williams, who's also he beat MVG last night as well. He's unseeded. Yeah, yeah. he's, he's the guy. Well. I know that. Uh, so he was the one. I watched his match. I was yeah. there for his match yesterday. He's the guy. So he beat a guy in the early rounds, right? And he comes out on stage and he and he beats a German guy <laughs> yeah. and he goes um, two world wars and one world cup. <laughs> yeah, it was so. <laughs> bad yeah and then so he said it right the crowd love it yeah right but the problem is like that's a really like that, that's a that. sticky one to say yeah, yeah on, on, say on live tv yeah, yeah on live tv he said Whoa. it and then literally in his like post post match he's there just like i want to apologize that was really immature on me <laughs> <laughs> oh they've got onto yeah. him the pr team yeah yeah oh, I definitely Hate sky with they're like bro get out there and apologize now so yeah that was bad but yeah that's a bit of context to him um, and he beat the favourite of the tournament which yeah. is mega so look I, I want I want Luke Littler to go and do it and I know as well like he he watches a lot of YouTube he's yeah. 16 years old bro there's a picture of him on Christmas day like sat at the tree oh, opening presents that's like you mad. forget that he's 16. let me get this picture out it's crazy Chip yeah you're gonna be there like what this guy is I have seen pics of him though and he just, just he looks 35 yeah he but... does and that's where the meme came from. Like, I can't believe he's 16. Look, there he is. <laughs> Isn't that mad? He's just, but of course he is. He's 16. Yeah. I mean, it makes complete sense, but what did he, what did he get? Did he, did he say what gifts he got? Uh, Luda, as he ditched the Xbox for the practice, but, oh, I don't know. You know, I don't think, I don't think he released what his Christmas presents were. I seen a video where he was like talking about what he does with his days. Like wake up, get food, Xbox, yeah. hit, the, hit the board, then I go sleep. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, so there's a conversation going around. It's like, does he even go back to school? Because obviously in the UK at 16, you don't have to go back. You, at 16, you're allowed to leave school. He's, he, he's, made now, he's so now made a hundred not change grand. that now. What did that? Sadly, that? you're mad young. <laughs> What's the earliest you can leave school? I thought it was 16. You have to go to college now. Oh, okay. So yeah, you got to do summer. I don't think you okay. can just like... You can't just sack not it. Not like when we could sack it, yeah. Yeah. Uh... 
And yeah, so um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so there's this conversation about should he go back to school? Mm. Because he's, so he's earned a hundred grand now. So that's locked in. Yep. He's made that. If he wins the whole thing, he gets half a mil. Well, um, and I think if you get to the final, I would imagine he's made like 250K yeah, or something like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just think, what do you think? You think he should go back to school? Uh, I mean, <sighs> might as well, eh? Just finish it out, say you did it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't it's, know. It's I mean, is he, is he just, is, if he wins the thing, he's just going to be a darts player for like the rest of his life and he's going to be making a lot of money for, forever anyway, right? So he doesn't really need to. Yeah. You but, just hope that he's got the right people around him. So yeah. The money is invested or, or well, because it's easy, mate. If you're, bro, if, if I was 16, yeah, he 17, or, particularly when he up. turns 18 and you've got half a mil sitting in the bank and you're being told you can do whatever you want with a half a mil. Yeah. That's going to be. It's, it was a bit of a worry to think about the people he has around him with the whole son drama as well because there's yeah. potential there that that could have been nipped in the bud before it happened but yeah. we don't know the backstory of it all but yeah I mean yeah yeah, that yeah was... I've seen him holding up the newspaper but, I, but what was sad was the fact that people were getting on to him like mate he's 16 he had yeah. no idea probably no clue doing. give it a yeah. rest fuck yeah. like that's the side of Twitter I don't like so like Oh, and, and, and that is also something people will be they definitely just wary about. Like, as soon as someone, yeah. they'll big him up all the way and then the guy will make one mistake and he will Some make a mistake. On Everybody makes a mistake, right? Yep. So he will make a mistake and the moment that happens, they're just going to tear him down. So just anybody that is watching this, when he does inevitably make a mistake, don't be a prick. Because he's, yeah. Yeah, it's just something to think because, it, yeah, they do. They, they love it and they get him. a rock on from it. Yeah, they like, want to oh, see it's him. Oh, it's so fail. sad. That's just life, eh, though? Yeah. That is just snowflakes, fun. pal. They're always trying to say you down. For real. Why can't we just all love each other and big each other up? Beat each other up? Big each other up. <laughs> oh. Why don't, we just batter, why don't we just batter everyone? You know? We're just all... all right, I'll be down for that. Uh, what, are your, what are your goals uh, this year, then? You got any goals? Hmm. Um. Damn. Yes. But I'm not going to share them. You don't, oh, private victories. Going to try to do that this year. Because normally I feel like I share them and some, half of them I don't even fucking achieve. But yeah. surely sharing them holds you to account more. No, nah, nah, you man. know what? So I, I, I was on a podcast actually on that and I believe it was, you know, Chris Williamson. Yeah. I think it was his. It was either his, his or Huberman's. And they were saying, actually, when you share that stuff, or, or actually maybe it's, maybe not necessarily your goals, but if you share like, a plan. Uh, a go a, yeah and you receive like the wow congrats congrats yeah. congrats that actually stops you I've from continuing and really? and achieving yeah so that's why like when i was doing that 75 hard thing and i heard that and i was like fuck my 75 hard challenge is so public that's exactly what these guys are saying that it shouldn't really be public and i was there like oh i mean i'm making a video out of it so not much i can do about it now but uh, i think going forward i'm 100 percent in the same boat as chip i'm not sure that I'll be sharing. And even, even when I um, achieve them, there might be a couple that I'm there like, oh yeah, I managed to do this. That was cool. Like da, da, da. But like the real, the proper goals that I want to achieve, I don't think that even, even if I do get them, yeah, I don't think I'm going to, I'm going to share them, especially not publicly, maybe with like one or two of the boys. But yeah. And that. there might be like, <clears throat> you know, you've got goals, you share them you might even forget about it like six months down the line and you've not achieved this one goal, but somebody else will might remember it. And then it's kind of like that yeah. your word is gone. Like you start losing respect in that way. Yeah. Cause it's like, damn, like he said he was going to do this. He didn't even fucking do it. Yeah. And then you do it again the next year and maybe, yeah, you're achieving some of them things you say, but then another one and that puts that same person looking at you like, yeah, you didn't do this last year and you just yeah. fucked it again this year. Yeah. And they just, you know, just losing a little bit of respect. It is because at the end of the, at the end of the day, that's how people judge. And you're not going to achieve all your goals that you have in your mind. That's just, I, I, I think, it's hard to fucking pull off, man. It depends I do on believe how you set that them. if you if you do achieve every single one, then maybe the goals weren't, weren't right weren't right for you. you. They should. I don't they, think they, you they should need, be some of them. Need to be out of reach, man. Yeah, outside, unrealistic, like, unrealistic. Like, for, I, like it's possible, but my fucking god, like, yeah. you know, the heavens will have to move for this shit to happen. Yeah, yeah. And I think sometimes though, when you do that, and especially if you're one to, and I would recommend people to write them down actually physically, you could do it in your notes if you want, but I actually think if you write them down on pe on paper, Better. you just like, you're putting it out into the world a little bit. Mm. And I'm a bit, I'm a big believer in that. Um, I tell you, I tell you who is like the ultimate, like manifesting God is JJ. Oh, this yeah. guy he, manifests. He does it in the SPL group chat, bro. <laughs> bro, yeah. He, no, he manifests everything. Yeah. 
And and it, to it's be fair to him, he's the one guy that I can be there like pretty much everything that you say, like you got 95% of the stuff that you say mm. happens. And I, I, part of me just thinks like, it's because he manifests it, he says it and he speaks it. And then it's just like, it's just one step closer. And then you start making like these subtle subconscious decisions mm. that end up leading towards it. It's not just like, oh, it's like luck. Yeah, you don't just say it and it happens. Yeah. It's like, it's like part of like your identity, believe in it. It's such a part of you. Yeah. That that thought process, like this is going to happen. I believe it so much. Everything I do in life, every action I take is kind of leading me towards that path. Yeah. If you genuinely do believe it, you know, I can't just sit here and go, fuck, I'm going to own McDonald's one day. Something yeah, yeah. Don't work like but, and you like, you don't... But if I, wanna, but it, I, wanna, but it, but if I grew up like my whole life being like, damn, I'm going to own a McDonald's, like that was my plan. I believe that I know it will happen. I would probably in some way be building towards buying. Yeah. Because you can buy, you, you can buy that. McDonald's, can't you? You can franchise. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's expensive, you know. It's like, yeah, yeah. I it, it's it. not cheap. I looked at it before for some reason. But yeah, like, can you can you just do that? It's quite How cool, much though, is it? Like, oh, that be. Yeah, I'm ch heading chips, Mackey's. What do you do? <laughs> I just got my own McDonald's. You know, <laughs> that is <laughs> sick. Here, let's see how much to start your own is it to start your own McDonald's here, or type in like franchise fee. Yeah, yeah, it's a fee. I remember reading up with it with the old ages ago. Look at that franchise rights and equipment was between. Yeah, so wait, here we go. For 80% of restaurants franchised in 2018, the cost of purchasing the franchise rights and the equipment was between, I mean, this is a big difference, by the way, 350K to 1.85 million. Um, this was priced on profitability over a 10 year period. These prices uh, are based on them. So, I mean, I, look, I'll be honest with you. I think you're, you're, it's well over a million quid. Should we buy a McDonald's though? <clears throat> How cool would that be? By the I, way, a London McDonald's is going to set you back up. I'm just back. saying, I think if we owned a McDonald's, it w it has a better chance of you know people gonna go to that right, but you can't change you, what yeah, you, you sell. You can't really do anything nah, to make I it think, your own. I think you know that like attaching our name to it a little bit. I, <laughs> that's me assuming people give enough of a fuck, but they'd be like, "Damn, I went to the McDonald's is owned by the fellas." Yeah, no, I can't. What Maybe you mean. one time, like you'd you'd go, you treat yourself if you were younger. You'd be like, "Damn, yeah." Are there I any companies that franchise them within their own office building so that their employees can use? No, I let, me tell, let me tell Surely you something. Let me tell you a story. Me and Max, Max plays FIFA, yeah? We were in, well, it might have been New York, like six, seven, eight years ago or some shit. And we were trying to find a Chick-fil-A and we couldn't find one, but we we found it on, one on Google Maps. So it was like not far away, like 10 minutes away. We walked to it and we, we realized it's inside a building. And we're like, damn, like, where are we going right now? We're inside this building, people walking around with backpacks and shit. We get to like this cafeteria and we realize we're in a school. What? We've walked into a, a fucking school, not knowing, or like like a uni college university kind of thing, and it's. Oh wait, are we talking? Are we talking like a secondary school or like a? a I think college? like a college. Yeah, yeah, like a college. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. fuck. If we watch the school, yeah, I'd that's be what I was well saying. You're, you're, <laughs> sure, you people, look going, oh, people are, everyone's like our age, and it's just like, what the fuck is going on here? And then we realize, and we can see all the signs, like you're in university or college or whatever, and we're like, fuck, this is like the school trip for Lake. Can we even eat here? I don't even know if we did in the end. I think we panicked and, and left. Yeah. Oh, well, so they're, they're, imagine yeah. in the UK, you got unis that they're like, oh yeah, we got like an on-campus Shake Shack. It's oh, crazy, that bang. These Americans live different lives. That's not a good thing though, is it? To have Chick-fil-A in your college or school, or whatever. That is not good. Yeah. I mean, there's a reason why they're all so big, man. Yeah. They are. Did you see that? Actually, you know what? In New York, I, I feel like that's probably the one place in America that maybe is that isn't like. There's a lot of walking, right? Well, there is, but not everyone, just everyone's too is too expensive to be fat. Yeah. Also, it's a very cosmopolitan place. <laughs> yeah. So. But as soon as bro, if you start heading different. out like Texas and stuff, like that, bro, people are wham. I wouldn't mind going to Texas. You know, it'd be sick. I'd like, yeah, go to like that. Go to a little rodeo. You know. Meet all the cowboys, say hello. You'd be so funny in a place like Texas. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think they'd like uh, you in Texas. No, I'll no. fit right in. Chip, chip, would, chip would, they would love Chip. Are you sure? I promise you. 100%. What, are you, you saying on a racial one? I think on a racial no, one, they no, wouldn't no, no, be no, too no. sure on no, it. No, 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 no. Trust me, in Texas, they're going to love Chip. Oh, what? They take one look at me going, nah, man. Not nah, white nah, you're, you're the wrong shade of white, boy. <laughs> 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 Boy, that was good. No, I'd love to go there. I'm gonna. That's one of the things I'm gonna do in 2024. I'm gonna do a road trip in America, three weeks. America. Well, America. Might as well, do it for the pod then. 
Nah, because I'm going with the missus, unless you want to come Oh, wait, how are you going to do that with the missus? I mean, I'll do one with you boys as well, 100%. Okay, okay, but, okay. like, I, I want to take... Sabina hasn't been to, like, West Coast, so I want to go to... Cali just, like, a Californian road trip. I want to take it to Area 51, you know? You're going to go back to Area 51. Do you, know how, do you know how much Bro. of a trek that was? It actually wasn't that bad. It was two... Was it not three, two, three hours drive? No way. It was ages. But uh, I think, like, two, three-week road trip, it'd be a lot more chill. Like, you could drive yeah. out there, stop. There was no... There's no video. There's no rush. Yeah. So it'd be a little bit nicer. Uh, what no, I, I agree. I think a road trip would be is it unbelievable. The, the go, go to like the national park. What is it? Yosemite. Yos yeah. Is that how you say it? I've always Yosemite. wondered how you it's pronounce Yosemite, that. Yeah. Yosemite. Yeah. yeah. I want to go there. That'd yeah. be nice. Man, America. Has that's like four. I think that's like four hour drive from LA. That's a hundred percent worth it. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. But yeah, just go like little, little road trip down West coast. I love that for you. That'd yeah. be sick. Give myself a little. Could head all the way down to Mexico. Some Porsche some shit. Yeah. We'll see what's up. Now nah, you gotta get back. you gotta get that that Stang that Mustang a Mustang yeah the American cool. Mustang oh, I had a Camaro didn't I, I got a was... buddy over around there <laughs> I had a ca Camaro uh, when we went to Area 51 last time but it was so bad it is a crap car yeah these American it Muscle was... cars for the most part they're pretty dumb you want to get you have to get like a spec out one right I know you're gonna like end up one. in some four by four soccer mom wheel rental, so I don't know why rental you're... cars like yeah a rent a zip car they're not gonna give you anything decent are they nah. Oh, you look, might be able get to get, get my, something. Get myself a truck, you know? Did we try and little get a Ford Corvette? Raptor or something? Yeah, we we I could get the Corvette. No, nah, it was like a yeah, it was a Corvette, wasn't it? But it was uh quite nice and I didn't want to take it on the Area 51 dirt road. Yeah. I just thought it was you get my it money. messed up. Yeah. Yeah. Which was probably the smart decision because it was quite low. Have you seen this um this clip of so everyone for the for New Year's, they've um Obviously, everybody films fireworks, right? Mm -hmm. Now, this thing in Paris, look at this picture, bro. This is yeah, the, uh, terrifying. This. this is bad, you know. This actually scared me a little bit. Why? Because I have a question. Be honest. Has anybody ever filmed fireworks and then gone back to watch the video? Nope. No. no. And you know what? I filmed the fireworks this year. Did you? Why? Why did I do that? Yeah, but you probably were absolutely battered and you thought, yeah. oh, this looks yeah, sick. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 but, he, but this is this is actually just scary to me because look, it's just a sea of phones. It's just, and like people, look, look, look this guy, they were like an extender as well to get the proper angles on it. You know like, what's crazy as well? It's Not gonna a be on YouTube. Person is enjoying that as well. Like that you can see there's zero movement. There's no people hugging each other. There's nothing. It's just people filming. That's a good point, actually. It's not even like, oh, give me a kiss. It's New Year's. Whole it's right, right, wait. That, that timer, when's... All right, yeah. is that it now? Yeah. yeah. Nobody moves, man. Oh, I can see a couple hands waving and that's about it. Damn, that's that's not nice, you know. They just want to record it so they can post it to show others that they... Like, look, I'm enjoying life. Oh, but is it even... But they're not. I, I'm not going to lie. When, when I see somebody posting the fireworks... I'm not there like, oh, mate, you're having a class time. I'm there like, goddamn, fireworks are overrated as hell. It's like a sunset post, isn't it? Do, and do you guys ever do this, yeah, when you're like in a nice moment and you'll take a picture or do a little video or whatever, but then you just will never put it anywhere, but you just completely forget. You put, take the All video the with an attention to and then you just never do anything with it. 100%. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I take, I take photos of, of quite a lot of stuff. It's a weird one because I'm stuck between right now. I'm in, I'm in a moment where it's like, Cal, you got to remember to take photos of things so you can like, these are memories, yeah? But then I'm also thinking, do I need to take a photo? Like, I've lived it. Do you know yeah, what I mean? true. I mean, you've got more of an excuse to take a photo as well in the sense that you kind of part of my your job. job. But you... To keep posting. Yeah. Keep, I, keep tell you, I tell you what, everybody's jumping on Snapchat. Oh, follow me on Snapchat. Not Cal for easy. Do it yeah, right now. Get, this guy's Let getting me a get bag, my bag. Is it working now? It is. It's working. We got it fired. Is it worth doing? Yeah. All right. So I want to give a shout out to um, Toby, Tobe Jizzle, yep. and also Harry Jousey. Oh, you, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, yeah. You know the guy from- Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, he's like a reality TV star. He was, and now he just does like social media and stuff. Okay. Anyways, he posted up on his thing, on his story. He was, he was telling everyone to go follow him, but it was of a screenshot of a set of Snapchat. How many views do you think bro had? Well, the thing is with Harry Jowsey, you know he's thirst trapping as well. So. Bro, this guy, he is an unbelievably well, like, good looking fella. How, how many views did like a single story have? Or? The, the Snapchat thing, so it's, it's a combination. I'll just tell you, okay? Yeah. 84 million. What? <laughs> 84 million. Hold up now. Bro, and I was like to him, I was just saying like- Is that in one I day? I messaged him, I said like, what the hell? Yeah. I, yeah, that's in 20, I think it's in 20, or maybe it was- 
No, it might be a bit more than a day. But anyways. How much money is that? Can you give I, me, I don't know. Can we just ballpark it at least? Like, All right. If we if I was to ballpark it, I'm pretty sure it's it's going to be about 20 to 30 grand. Damn. GBP. I don't know. Okay. But Shit. still. But remember, that's him. So and, and that 84 million, it was just a recap of his year. <sighs> How mad is that now? I'm hearing the streets are saying that David Dobrik yep. is doing like 400k a month. Because I was one, yeah, because I was wondering why has David Dobrik just stopped uploading? Because I, I was a big fan of his videos. Yeah. And he stopped uploading. I know there's a bit of controversy and all that stuff. Like, okay. Yeah, but then I was like, how's he making his money? Mm. Obviously, this guy. Oh, so when, when I got told that he was making like 400k a month. Yeah, there you go. See, the, 35. Thing is, like, see the thing is, if I do this, right? Ain't nobody fucking tuning in. What do I get up to at home? No, see, that, that's what I was saying. And, and when you watch their videos, like their Snapchat stuff, yeah. I'm there like, wow, these guys are like, they're, they're always up to stuff. I'm thinking, imagine the way I walk into the fellow studio's office yeah. and I sit down. I'm sat there for that's seven it. hours on my iMac. And what else they do is because, so the last slide on your Snapchat yep. is a thumbnail. Ah, uh, yes, I've seen this. And uh, so what they do is this. the whole thing will just be something else. Mm -hmm. And then they'll just get an OnlyFans girl picking at the end and with some mad caption. And it's just them. So you'll scroll through Snapchat and you'll just see like, it's a lot of mad stuff. Oh, snap, man. I got so, to yeah, give, give it a test on Sabina. She can be the thumbnail. Yeah. See how it works. I'm telling you, you actually to be fair like obviously Cal your girlfriend's not public but as your girlfriend's public you could just like give her a little bit and then just be like yeah you're the, the hey the this best. is what I said to my girlfriend I said look straight up you're gonna be you're just gonna film film me you're gonna be my cameraman and just film me walking around and like imagine the amount of content you would get if your girlfriend was just like filming you how getting much up I, to it. it's like much, a social media <clears throat> yeah but David Dobrik's making crazy money right yeah are the smaller creators work it, make making money that's worth doing? I don't, I don't think so. It's difficult. Look, put it this way. It, he must be doing crazy numbers. Like, yeah. like genuinely mind boggling numbers because from what I've seen, I mean, I'm not, I'm not near that. But to be fair, at the same time, I have just started. Yeah. I would, I need to speak to the people like Chunks and Philly because they actually, they smash it pretty hard too. Yeah. So I want to speak to those boys and see what's up. But when I was speaking to Harry Jowsey, he was, he was giving me some pointers and some tips and stuff. And, uh, it was super helpful because these guys, they're just, that's what they do, man. Do it's you think playing devil's advocate because your life isn't full of like parties and girls and stuff, yeah. you'll struggle to like build a following on there? I definitely think that helps. Like there's no doubt. If you look at the most successful people on that platform at the moment, most of it is very much yeah, girls, girls, girls. And that's just the way it is. Like mine's going to be like, oh, at home playing Spider-Man 2. <laughs> or, or it's <laughs> filming another podcast. Yeah. Beans and toast tonight. <laughs> Crazy one. Yeah, but it, and then you look over in LA. The sun is shining. They're driving around in Ferraris. Yeah, fucking girls' asses hanging off the back of it, and you're just there like, I'm I'm in London. It's raining. Yeah, I stayed up tonight. I'm out, I'm up to eleven thirty instead of eleven. Yeah. I'm treating myself. You know, guys. I got I'm a, on. I got a donut today. Let me yeah. show you lot this. Yeah, so Snapchat, that's why you'll see. Have you had Kobe your first on it. payout now? Uh, I've, I've got like my balance is now working and so I can see it. But it takes a little while. It, it, to be honest, it takes like six weeks to get your money out of there. Damn. But it's not, it, I'll be honest with you, at the moment, it's not life changing. But it's worth doing. Is, is it, it worth doing? Is it better than TikTok um, creativity program? I, I honestly couldn't tell you. Get, let me come back to you in a month. How many, let snap, me come back how to many, month. How many snaps you do yesterday? Zero. Because that's the thing. Like, if I, bro, I'm sitting around. Like, I can only really do it on days where I'm doing something. At least you're honest with it. Like, you're not forcing it. It's a nah, little more real. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. We'll see. Like, yo, come back to me in a month and I'm going to get back to you. I'm going to tell you how much money I made. Shit, okay. And I, like, I like that. I like that. Yeah. Let's, let's start flexing, remember? Well, Absolutely. Talking of looking into the future, I know you guys said you didn't want to talk about any of your goals on yep. the pod, but are there any podcast goals that you want to put out into the world <sighs> and come back in a year's time? We look at <clears throat> they've been how achieved. many subscribers the podcast got? Uh, 600. One million. And... We need a million. Yeah. We do need a million. Maybe, maybe uh, Prodwood, you're going to get us there? 400k I, yeah. I think that's I totally see, possible I don't see why not with the new things we've got coming and the new yeah. content I think that's doable man me too me too uh, with, yeah especially with what we got planned for this year 100% let me tell you I would like one guest 
that even surprises me that we got yeah there. yeah you know that yeah. guess where like last going, year we had ramsdale and that, that was, was like sick. a little bit like damn we had Aaron ramsdale just come on and just in the middle of the season like it was a context around it it was it was pretty cool and we got yeah. the um and we had andrew tate as well didn't we yeah. andrew tate was i think a big we one. should we should potentially talk about that well, no, now back on youtube uh yeah uh, people you know what people actually want to know why that got uh, yeah what well, we can say now uh, well look right there it wasn't entirely our choice. It was, and it wasn't. Yeah. It was, and, and I know people are going to be like, oh, it's a bit of a wishy-washy wishy answer. But the truth is genuinely, at that time, there was a lot of stuff going on. And because we had a Spotify exclusive thing, and there were certain things that we really wanted to do, um, including touring Australia, it it hinged on whether that, that uh that yeah. podcast we was couldn't available. we couldn't let our own bag be fumbled by keeping yeah yeah and it, it, it it's a, just a at that time it was just such a weird one now i mean you see like george janko's gone and done one with him yeah i did really well and so it's just it's one of those where it's like their pod it, his pod as well is good good like it's more insightful he wasn't well, that i was fucking hammered on the andrew oh, pod. Bro, like, I'd, I'd look back and it like what the fuck am i doing yeah that's one of them pods where you're like damn man, i'm glad that's down yeah, just like, but, but not not but even I, for the for the for the Andrew Tate side of things. No, just because you were fucking yeah, just, hammered. Oh man, this guy just turned up at. What time did that podcast start? <laughs> bro, it's like half nine, ten. Like half half ten. He rocks up at half nine, and I messaged One you. I was like, bro, early, Andrew I'm, Tate is ten minutes away, and I'm on my own here. Yeah, <laughs> had barely any sleep. Rocked up, no food, and he's like, "I do shots," and we just started of moonshine. Yeah, I was doing sh moonshine, crazy man. But yeah, yeah still good times, eh? Uh, yeah, so I would uh, back to the original point about that though. I but would like a guess. guest yeah. that mm. may even surprises me. I'm there like that's really cool that we managed to get him on uh, or her, and yeah, that that would be really cool. I mean, I was thinking the other day, and I, uh, you you know what? And it's, it's kind of cliche. You remember? I think we asked at the end of the last one like, who would your dream guest be? And I don't know if I gave an answer, but I was thinking about the other day, like, uh, Drake. I just feel no, no, no. Let me tell you why. Let me just tell you why. Is because I watched his I've so wa so difficult. No, I know. No, no, no. I'm not saying that's cool, but I'm just saying like in terms of a dream guest. Oh, okay. Because I was watching his podcast. He did. He did a few with like Lil Yachty for a bit, and he's been on other podcasts. And yeah. his humor is actually just like ours. Yeah, he, uh, he's quite. He is quite funny. He's, I remember watching the one with the girl in the bed. Yeah. Like and his, he's had loads of, he's actually a really funny and he doesn't take well. himself seriously. The yeah. worst thing, and we've seen this, is when people come on this podcast and they take themselves too seriously. Just relax. Chill, bro. We're going to talk about fucking wanking for 20 minutes here. So yeah. You need to just chill. You need to suck this motherfucker Yeah. Up. So, yeah. And I think he would actually be able to have a laugh with us because I think a lot of musicians, they do just take them, like it's very much like an image thing for them. Yeah, or they'd like promoting an album or some shit like that. I hate those ones. Oh, uh, when it feels too forced. Too, yeah. I dislike it when they, it's it's nice when the person is like, knows of the pod yeah. or is not a fan, but just knows what we're about. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Ramsdale knew what was going on. Yeah, he, he wanted to come on. Yeah. So it didn't feel like this forced PR bullshit. It felt like three boys chatting. Yeah. Which is and that's, it, that's the way it's it what it needs to be. It's what the fellas is, you know? For sure. People don't come here expecting fucking highly intellectual conversations about anything. physics. Any, <laughs> anything. anything. Yes, anything. Right. Um, cool. What do you say? Is this the most terrifying story of all time? What is this? I want you to look at this and okay. tell me this does not fill you with absolute fear. Oh, God. So, right. Read oh. this out and then I'll show you the image. All right, okay. <clears throat> Get my reading voice on. <laughs> on November 24th, 2009, Jod John Edward Jones tragically lost his life in the Nutty Putty Cave following a harrowing 28-hour ordeal. While exploring the cave with his brother Josh, Jones accidentally entered a constricted tunnel, mistaking it for another type passage known as the Birth Canal. Okay, first of all, this seems like a troll. No, We've I got I, Nutty Putty Cave. I know this and story. A tight passage known as the Birth Canal. To, if if I get trolled at the end here, I'm gonna be really nah, angry. I know this story. <laughs> Oh, it, is, it is a crazy one. He became lodged upside down in a 10 by 18 inches opening approximately 400 feet from the cave's entrance. Jones was trapped in a position resembling a hook where any movement could cause severe injury due to the unnatural angles of his body. A large team of rescuers responded, employing an advanced rope and pulley system in their efforts to save him. However, the operation faced a setback when a pulley malfunctioned during the extraction process. Jones eventually suffered cardiac arrest 
a consequence of the prolonged stress on his body from being in an inverted and compressed position. The rescuers, realizing the high risk involved, decided against attempting to recover his body. An agreement was reached between the landowner and Jones's family to seal the cave permanently, turning it into a memorial for Jones. To secure the area, explosives were used to collapse the ceiling near where Jones was located, and the entrance was filled with concrete, ensuring no further access. And show those pictures. That's how he was stuck. How crazy. How do you get wow. stuck like that? Can I just say, though, like... what? So has he slipped into there? I'm sorry, no, but this no. is natural selection. Like, this kind of cave diving thing. <laughs> I'm so, so I like, do kind of agree with you. I'm, yeah. so, I'm so, I know that's like, extreme sports and stuff like that, but and I feel sorry for the guy because this seems like a horrible way to die. But what the fuck are you doing climbing in these tight? I always see videos about them and they make me anxious and my palms sweat and I can't, I can't, uh, I can't hack it. Is this is this the type of stuff where they're going to like really tight spaces and they come yes. out another side? And I just, yeah, yeah. It's like um, you know what else? Another similar thing. People that climb skyscrapers get to the top and then they're on the edge and they're doing backflips just while they're next to the edge. Oh, yeah, yeah. But or they're riding a skateboard. They the die edge. all the time. All the time. And I'm just like, why, man? Yeah. Just There's no need for that. I, I guess, don't know. I guess say that, that's for them is fulfilling in life, though. And that's... That's how, how they... And it, ta just, it takes yeah. this to get their adrenaline going. Which is, I guess, fucking fair enough. Everyone's different, eh? As but, well, as well, there's also a cave diving... Yep. Like, uh, so there was um, a great documentary. Oh, God, I've forgotten the name of it. We'll get it. We'll, we'll find it. Um, and it's about these three guys that went on, like they do cave diving all the time together. Mm. And they went diving uh, deep down. I believe it was somewhere in like Norway or uh, the rescue. That was it. There you go. The rescue. Mm -hmm. And it, yeah, it's about these three lads um, go and, the, and their boy gets trapped down on uh, when they're is it a there. true story right it's a true story yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. no it's a, you should give it a watch by the way it is like heart pounding stuff oh no um these things stress me out i'm not really a tight space is kind of oh wait sorry wait, the rescue no this, no, this is, is the tie this is about the tie boys that got stuck in the that cave. is incredible this is also great sorry this is not the one the rescue i noticed sorry these yeah. these kids got saved right yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. um and yeah it's an um that's an unbelievable documentary everybody should watch the rescue um, but there's also another one and it's about, type, no, 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 uh, you've got, uh, type in um, cave diving, uh, ca documentary about cave diving. Is it Last Breath? No, Last Breath is another really good one, by the way, I'm not joking. Um, there's a lot of these diving ones. Last Breath, I believe, is the one about somebody that... Um, you know that you know true jordy used to do this type of diving oh, the man. really deep like it's one of the most dangerous it jobs is. in the world you're fixing oil rigs and, and yeah stuff. so this guy goes down and wow. oh, last breath and actually i'm not even going to say anything but give that one oh, a watch too so that's these, the rescue these stress me out yeah it is it is it is one of those you're watching it and your stomach's going oh it's annoyed me that we haven't managed you know cave I, can't, type in like, like, I can't watch these kind of movies though if it's Why? diving in the sea like i get scared of it now like, you got to watch like, it, man. You know, like on GTA and shit, I don't like swimming underwater. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how like no. my fear of like unknown deep ocean is. Like I don't even like, on video games. Yeah, a hundred percent on video games. I'll be like, I'll be avoiding that mission. Or, or or what I'll do is I'll be playing the game, but to like take me out of it and to not be too immersed, I squint my eyes. Yeah. So I'm like playing, and I can just about see that I'm doing it, but I don't feel like I'm there. <laughs> Squinting your eyes, <laughs> pixelating the screen. Yeah, it's it's mad. It um, is sad when it, it is. It is sad, isn't it? When you see all these videos of people dying in these mad ways. Yeah, like um, like another one that really gets me, and I hate seeing these ones, is fair fair rides like fair, uh, like the pop up ones. You know the pop up, yeah, the pop up yeah. ones. Like I seen one where um, this kid gets into. It's one of those ones that goes up and down. It's like seats all oh, around in a circle. Oh my God. He gets in it. He, I, like, I think he was like a larger kid. So he's, he's pulled the thing down, but it's not closed properly. And it's gone up, it's come down and he just falls out and just 
flats and I'm like what, what, how have I, see, how have I ended up seeing that it's, that's the, like, one of the most I've... fucked videos I've ever seen yeah I hate that I don't one. think I've seen that I don't that one made me feel that. bad for a while there's a lot of videos of people dying on Twitter right now it's really bad and I, I'm trying to avoid them but sometimes I end up watching them and I'm like why have I done that yeah. why have I you know like the curious mind it well, takes you to place it's a bit like the wild west right now just <laughs> in terms nuts, of like man. nudity like there's a yeah. lot of death videos flying around I mean I know Harry likes to watch them Arthur likes to yeah, watch he, them he was showing me Bear in France like different pages to find them best yeah. gore let me tell you can I say the best Best fucking video of all time. Go, you need to pull it up for me, prod. Wait, wait, is it a death video? No, no, right. no, no, no. I don't want to watch that. This is French Twitter. This French. French Twitter. This is French. Like French. Nah, uh, sorry, actually, it's French Snap Heritage. Yes. French all right, prod, go, on, go on YouTube. Um, type in French dog driving. <laughs> French dog driving. <laughs> Please. Is this it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pause it. <laughs> get that phone job, bro. All right, here we go. So this is it. Let me see this. You guys get French. Why is he chatting to him? It's all for It's all for Tyson. Tyson. He's got a seatbelt on, he's got the gelée. Have you seen the meme just about French? He's not going to turn it, is he? He ain't going to turn it. I've heard the memes about French Snapchat. Supposedly French Snapchat is at a different level. Why though? Like, What's going on over Bro, there? France is just a mad gaff. What is going on? Yeah, the dog driving, that's one of my favorite ones of all time. Uh, every now and then I just go back and I'll, I'll watch that one. That's a very goat clip right there. Speaking of clips, guys, if you haven't already, check out um, our fellas clips channel. Yes. Please, can we just get that to 10K subs? It looks yeah, so we, sad right now. It looks sad, doesn't it? It's, it's doing post, well. Yeah, people are posting like, yeah, you fell off, but we ain't even promoted it yet. Yeah, so please go and uh, subscribe to that if you haven't already, because um, yeah, the clips on there, we, and I know a lot of you guys do enjoy watching the clips. So yeah, yeah. We, we, made a, we made a separate channel for that. And that means by the way, if you are already subscribing and listen to this, you can turn on notifi the notification bell and everything now because it's literally just the one episode every week. Mm. And so it'll just pop up, you can click it. Um, and that way you're not getting spammed with a bunch of clips that you may or may not have seen but if mm -hmm. you watch the full pod. So we, we thought we'd nice you up for that. It's just a bit cleaner, I think. Yeah, it looks a lot nicer. It's just yeah. simple. You got your clips on one channel, you got full podcasts on the other. If you ain't got exactly. time for full pods, go watch well, some clips. Yeah. Treat yourself. Why not? Yeah. Um, right. Let's talk a bit about. Uh, so, actually, in our 2022, like the first podcast there, we did this thing where, 20, well, Prod. Oh, sorry, uh, beginning of 2023, yep. we did this thing. Uh, prod set up. It's like a quiz, mm -hmm. and it was whether did it happen in the year before or not. So this one is, did it happen in 2023? Yeah, right. so I've got three sets of three headlines for you. Okay. Um, just checking you can't see my PC anymore. No, I can no, see no, your no. face. Cool, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'll give you three headlines. You need to tell me which one of the three didn't happen in 2023. Okay. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So number one, a Russian man was eaten alive by great white shark in Egypt. Number two, Luke Littler beat Brendan Dolan to reach the semi-final of the World Dart Championships. Yeah. <clears throat> Number three, Jack Grealish signs 10 million deal with Gucci. Right, so we know we know the Luke Littler. I think the Gucci one was in 2022. When was this? When did Luke Littler? That was literally just, just now. Yeah, so but 2024, no? Oh. <gasps> When was that get? When oh my God, that was yesterday. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, yes. That was yes. Oh, that was I thought he had us. I he thought I had, had you hook, line, and sinker Bro, there. He, you did have me hook, line, and sinker. And Chip saved me. He didn't even watch oh, it. I didn't even. I just thought, oh wait, I know what you're trying to do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah oh, you little devil. Luke Littler was in 2024. Yeah. All right. All right. So next one. Uh, Damn. So wait, Jack really, she really got 10 M's for that Gucci deal. Yeah. Fair yeah. Enough. Well, it, I saw an article and it said that with Grealish's football wage and the Gucci deal and all other sponsor sponsorships, he could be earning a mill a week. Damn. Yeah. That's yeah. a bag. Yo, shout out to Jack. Fair Grealish. enough. Um, okay, so next ones. TikToker Bevo uploaded his first TikTok. Yep. Mm. The burnt chip was almost cancelled after appearance on the Low IQ podcast. <laughs> uh, Salt Pappy fought jo Josh Bruckner and knocked him out. Oh. Uh. 
It, so, the, so the, which one? The, the chip one is the, the, was 2023. Yeah. Well, so was, wasn't it? Eva, Did I go on Eva that one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, but yeah, 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 yeah. People yeah. getting angry was in 2023. Okay. Um, oh, did Bevo, surely Bevo, nah, Bevo's been around for longer than, actually, I don't know, man. The first time I saw him was him swallowing a whole chicken or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was the Bevo one again? He uploaded what? the first TikTok. First TikTok. I don't know what that was. Nah, I think he's been around for a while. And then what's the other, and then what was the other one? Uh, Salt Pappy knocked out Brockner. I think that was it right at the beginning of the year. I reckon it's the Bevo one. I think. Yeah, let's go. Be Be Bevo uploaded his first thing. Final answer? Yeah. Yeah. It was Bevo, correct. Yeah. That was in 2022. He uploaded his first TikTok on the 24th of December, 2022. Oh, oh damn. So not, yeah. Oh, so we just. But he, he used to just do like freestyle raps over tunes. I don't know if they're Can a joke rap? or not. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> okay, your final three articles. Stephen Graham appeared in the highly acclaimed TV series Bodies. King Charles III was crowned king. Yeah. And the Lionesses won the Euros. No, the Lionesses was 2022. Yeah. The Euros Wait. weren't this year. Wait. The women's Euros wasn't this year, was it? How long oh, did it take? Oh, was after, it? How long did it take after the Queen dying for the king to get? Does he come in straight away? It wasn't, was it? Right? Nah, it wasn't, but it was pretty soon after. It was like a month. Because I swear I remember the Queen dying when I was filming Come Down With Me season one, the finale. Yeah. And when, which was, was in 2022. Was it actually? Yeah. But I, that's what I mean. I don't know. Did, did, did King Charles, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Did it happen straight away? I don't think it did, did it? So, so what, you think the king was? The king was not in 2022. And the queen died in 2022 though. Did she? No. I think she did. I think she did. I, w I thought we filmed that season, that season one, because I know it was in that nice house. Um, yeah, that, that was, that was that the was, finale. That was Calix. That was 2022. You, are you sure? 100%. Do you want me to give you a signpost? 100%. Um, we went to Australia in 2022. Don't know if that jogs any memories. Yeah, so the Queen definitely died in 2022. We know that. I, you're telling me the King's been around for a year already? Yeah, I think so. But I mean, I don't know if um, he became the King straight away. That's what I mean. That's just me being yeah. stupid, I think. But I just can't remember. I wasn't paying too much so attention what, okay, to Okay, so wait, that's a maybe on the King one. Yep. The women's Euros. That was 2022. Oh, man, I got bad memory. <laughs> This is why you're I've moving done like it. Joey Barton right now. The way you're not respecting the women's game. No, I respect the women's game. Like you should know the final. You should know the goal scorers. You should know all of that, man. No, no, you don't know that. You don't know that. I don't know any. Mary Earp scored, didn't she? <laughs> She's the keeper. Oh, she won. She won the 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 Ballon d'Or. <laughs> What was it? What did she? Uh, was it sports personality, bro? What are you on about? <laughs> yeah. Joey Barton's fucking rolling up. <laughs> <laughs> not Get him yet. on the pod. Uh, oh. oh, I don't know, man. I, you know what? I think the women's Euros must have been this year because everybody was saying, wait, did you say the, the women won it? England women won the Euros. Yeah, the Lionesses won the Euros. How do you not remember? Nah, that, it, I think the World Cup must have been this year then. The women's world. Do they even have a women's world? <laughs> oh, bro. I actually don't know, bro. I don't know either. Look, no, we can't, you can't hate us for not knowing. I don't, I'm, I don't, I'm, just, follow, I don't I'm follow, just not aware. I don't but you call game. yourself sports fans, lads. I'm not really nah, a sports fan. This is crazy. Why is this sending me? Because look, so the reason follow why I'm saying that, the reason it. why I'm saying this is because in that BBC Sports Personality of the Year, yeah. Mary Earps won it for getting Golden Glove in a tournament. That means there must have been a tournament this year. <laughs> is that year. how you say a name? Mary Earps. Yeah. Ah. Look, so that means it was a tournament this year, Chip. I've been calling it Ips. <laughs> <laughs> bro, it's just no, lying. But, oh, bro, she lying. plays for your club, bro. No, you should know. No, because it's it, the word is spelled E A R P S. Earps. <laughs> yeah, he's got a point, man. Mary Ips. <laughs> right. Chip, we need to figure this out. So you're saying it was the Euros? Um, no, I think it was the king. <laughs> you think the king the king got no way bro there's no way we've had the king for a year 
Is it what? Well, nah, this is where it's like the president, isn't it? Where they get sworn in. <laughs> no, it is like that. Yeah, no, but it's, it's like not what they call it over here, is it? I'm certain in 2023, the king was it here. The king, kept, the king rocked up in 2020. I think the king rocked up in 2023 too, but the only thing that's thrown me off is I know the queen what died. What was the third one? What's the, the queen other one? died oh, in 2022. Um, no, Stephen Graham appeared in highly oh. acclaimed TV series. Oh, bodies. it just could be that one, Chip. It just could be, it could be that. Like, we don't know the Stephen Graham lore. Nah, I'm in. I'm not saying it. It's not he the Stephen now. Graham one. He's been converted. Trust me, bro. Wait, so was that this year? I'm in Stephen Graham's DMs. Was, was, it, was that this year? It's, not, Steve, this year? it's not a Stephen Graham one. Ah, oh, it could be. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> so you're not sure in any I'm of the say three. Stephen, These, this is a tough round. This is really difficult. I'm going to say it's the king one. I don't think it's the king one, Chip. All right, Chip, we'll take the king one. I'm going to take bodies, Stephen Graham. Okay. Well, neither of you are correct. No, is it the women's Euros? Women's Euros was in 2022. It was the World Cup it this was, summer. It you was were, the World you Cup. You were initially oh, right. I was, I was nibbling right. on that. But um, uh, King Charles got coronated in March. So he got coronated yeah. in March, but he became king in 2022, but he was crowned king in oh, 2023. Wow. That's what there I was trying to figure out. I couldn't, yeah, couldn't so there was a serious that. delay. Damn, okay, fair enough. You got me. You riddled me. <laughs> you cooked him, you cooked him. That was a good, I love cooking. Got another round for us. Well, talking of deaths, um, we, well, a friend of mine, he every oh, year God. writes a list of people uh, he thinks will die. Him oh, and his that's friend. Oh, morbid, this Yeah, he, he, he has a competition <laughs> with a friend. They competition? Both, they do a, a draft, essentially, so you both can't draft. have. Draft. They're drafting a celebrity I told death. the yeah. missus that you wanted to do this and she told me, no. <laughs> that's a bad energy, I, isn't it? You don't have to do it, but I'm just explaining, I'm telling you, okay? okay. So they did a competition with their friend. Uh, each of them provide a ten list of 10 celebrities uh, and at the end of the year, they see who the winner was and he yeah. won 1-0 so the only one he got so he got one right he got one right was, was Michael it? Parkinson let me tell you something he could have he could have been the reason he died yeah I don't have a, a, a list I'm not gonna lie I made the list did, did your missus shrug you off from <laughs> doing I, it Chip you I'll, I'll I, do I don't want to give my I don't want to give my list <laughs> because I, I now thinking about it I, I refuse to manifest I was thinking it. about it and I was just in the car and I was like damn like I'm just gonna sit on this podcast and I'm gonna say <laughs> So this year, I think this person's going to die. This person's going to... I was like, damn, that's It, it kind of feels like thing. it's really just not that deep. But at the same time, there's so, a part of me would just feel weird if they did actually die. You end up also, in an edit when they die. Also... Oh, I'd end up in an edit. Yeah. Yeah, also as well. Like, imagine you were just watching a podcast. The guy's making a list and he's like, yeah, like, my list this year died. I got Cal Freezy on there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you were just... No, I'd be shook. You know, I'd be staying inside of soft you'd walls. Be, you'd be a bit like, damn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm gonna die? <laughs> nice one. <laughs> like, fuck. No, that's true. You're right. You're right. All right. Look, I'm not gonna give my list for that reason. That might be lame of us, and I apologize. Yeah. But I don't know. It's just a this weird energy. Mean, isn't it? Some other predictions for 2024. S predictions for 2024. Damn, some more alien shit. Hopefully. Yeah. What do you think? No, don't don't be so vague like that. Give me something. Don't specific. be so vague. I don't know. Um. Oh, okay. Okay, right. I don't think that it'll be anything like disclosure, like, yeah, it, oh, we found them. There won't be any no, no presidential announcement. Maybe it'll be another country. It'll be like, so it'll be somewhat similar to Mexico backing it up. What about like Italy? Yeah, Italy was where they say the first space ship crashed. I'll tell you what, it's going to be more about what they are, what they think they are. And I think that they are not like machine based crafts. Yeah. Crafts. No, that makes sense. Machine based craft. I think they're more like, I uh, like you hear like the pilots that see them and stuff always say that these UAPs, whatever, they always have like a, the skin of the craft is, is strange. Like, like the something texture. they almost can't describe. I think it's like almost like a being itself and it's grown, not built. Wow. And it's like, I feel like the craft as well is operated uh, biologically, would that be the right yeah. word to say? Like, um, imagine like it's connected to the to the pilot. And so, what they think telepathically, right. they think the coordinates, whatever kind of thing, it goes. Wow! And it tra and they travel through dimensions as well. That's <sighs> that's what I would. That's what and, I like to believe. Obviously, it sounds so fucking crazy, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, but hey, man. But I like to believe that it keeps yeah, me going at night. It keeps yeah. me going. It's like one day, hopefully, right. that, that's true. And, I like that, and that's why I think they just appear out in fucking nowhere as well. Yeah, because they. They have really come out of nowhere. Yeah. They've just slipped through time and space. Otherwise, they never get to us. It's, it's That's impossible crazy. to travel at those. Well, well, 
Well, well, well yeah. Really, yeah, but yeah. I mean, if I you could this, travel through dimension is, ship, this, you could travel as yeah, fast I as you think, want. Yeah, that's true. But I think this is the this key is to do it. That's how you yeah. travel that fast. Did you guys see the story about, so obviously they had that massive earthquake in mm -hmm. Japan, 7.5, mm -hmm. I think, on yeah, the Richter scale. That. There was actually, a, 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 I say interesting, I, I guess, mm. uh, a, like a woman was in Japan live streaming on Twitch when it happened. And she's there like, oh. It's like, you, you can see it's like a live reaction of the earthquake. The whole chat are like WTF, WTF, like trolling and stuff like that. And then her phone starts like blaring out like earthquake, 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 like all this. And she's like, uh, I got to go guys like this, like dashes away. And it was just super interesting to see it all happen. And then you just see the whole house doing this. But the original point that I wanted to bring up actually was about the ore fish. I'm surprised it ain't popped up for you. So it's called the doomsday fish. And this fish pops up. It usually sits at around 4,000 to 5,000 meters of depth. It's an extremely deep fish. Yeah. What's it called? Uh, an oar fish, but it's O-A-R. O-A-R. Um, it, and it's like almost a bit translucent. It's kind of translucent. It's like a shimmery silver. Okay. Um, and in, yeah, so this is it. They're massive, by the way. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, you can see the size compared to the diver there. Uh, there you go. There you go. Look at the size of that. Yeah. Right. So that's an oar fish. And in ancient Japanese mythology, it is said to that when the ore fish comes closer to the surface, it's warning of something bad that's going to happen. Oh, uh, like something bad that's going to happen soon. And I believe that did it come up recently then? before in Japan, uh, divers were taking pictures and everything with said ore fish. Um, and then only a little while later, there was a, um, Earthquake. Earthquake. A big one too. I just find that interesting. Obviously, all these things can totally be coincidence, but it is just very interesting that a, f like a fish that is very much in like the, the deepest depths of the ocean coming up to the surface like that would, would cause for at least some questions. And the scientists don't actually know why the ore fish comes up. There is a lot of doomsday talk at the moment. And there's a movie that just came out. Have you seen it? Leave the World Behind. It's a Netflix movie. I, I watched it and it's interesting. I, I kind of don't want to tell you because I feel like you might watch it. I will watch it. Yeah. If, if, if it was it's, good. Um, it's good. It's good. Like it's worth watching. Yeah. I would say you're either going to hate the ending. Or, like, look at the reviews here on this bad boy. You're either going to hate the ending or be one of those that's right. it's super artsy and good. Okay. Um, is it A64? I thought, uh, is it what? A64. 64. A64. 24? 24, yeah. Oh, A24. I actually don't know um but i did enjoy it uh, i can't really say anything look it's about like but you want to talk about doomsday anyways yeah it's about that kind of thing and it's a realistic that kind of depiction of it happening something yeah. that you could sit there and go oh this could happen right now yeah and, and was it realistic in a good way because sometimes i watch um, it and they're like this ain't realistic you ain't you're not gonna do this if the world's ending I think it was realistic in that way, yes. Yeah. I think everything about it was how it would be handled, which is why I don't want to spoil it for cool. the listeners and you. I, well, I, we'll, we'll go over it over the on the go, next episode. Go on, watch it, everyone, and listen. Yeah, and then we'll talk about it in the next episode because it, it's, uh, yeah, th a lot of bunkers popping up. A lot of bunker talk. Well, yeah, bunker talk. Mark Zuckerberg. No, is it Mark Zuckerberg yeah. or Jeff Bezos? Mark no, Mark Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg yeah. has been found. That he's building this Hawaiian, I mean, there's a lot of doomsday bunker in there. Uh, it's a mega operation. I mean, I'm hearing stories about the people working on it, having to sign NDAs. Like it is an insane job. And it's a, a lot of people because it like, he's creating like this underground bunker, extremely secure, da da da. Mm. And you're saying like, look, you're talking about one of the world's most influential and richest people is creating this. Why? Do you know what I mean? Like there has to be a reason as to why you would want this. I kind of would understand if it was like, you know, like a safe room or a security room, because uh, no doubt this guy probably has a lot of threats on his life mm. for various reasons, but to have an entire working doomsday bunker. But then I also think, damn, if I was rich as he would, I would probably build this as well because one, why the hell not? And two, you might, you just might as well. And the, the thing is as well, and I don't know if this is true because I, it's social media that I've been seeing it on. Apparently he's not the only one building them right now. Yeah. Like there's multiple billionaires just building them. You want to check that probably? So what do you reckon? Time? Do you reckon there might be a 2024 doomsday scare? 
Ah, there's a doomsday scare every year, though, isn't there? Some kind of world war, nuclear war. Yeah. Yeah, you're not wrong. It is really interesting, isn't it? I, I, I've watched documentaries on doomsday people and like them preparing. And I just doomsday know these, these guys are just going to be right. <laughs> At some point, they're going to be right and they're going to have. And I'm going to be like, I'm sorry for taking the mick out of you, man. Can I please chill in your bunker? What confuses me though, to so say the world ends and there is no like sort of livable earth outside of this bunker, what's, what's he breathing? Hmm? Now, there's ways that they can like filter oxygen in. Like I, I, I remember watching the thing on Mark Zuckerberg. Like, he's got like his own like farm down there. Right. To like create his own, like there's a water purifier. Like there's everything that you could need to survive. Like yeah. these guys, are, they're gonna have made it so that that's yeah. not even a problem. But yeah, you just have to hope that the doomsday event isn't big enough to the point where it fucks up your bunker. <laughs> yeah, it's a good because it could really, isn't it? And uh, I feel like Hawaii. Yeah. You know, what is interesting. I mean, he's obviously thought about this, but like to me, Hawaii being like that small island, surely that's at risk of like going underwater if there was a big like doomsday event. I have no idea. I don't know though. Maybe I'm waffling. Maybe he knows some. We don't know. He, well, he, that's what people. Are and saying, that's the right? furthest away from any, any shen shenanigans that's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, that's scary. That though. it is scary to think about. Let me think about one, one more twenty. What's my twenty twenty four prediction? I reckon. You know what's interesting is there's always somebody that like breaks through on the internet every year. There's one person that comes through. For example, twenty twenty three. I would say the the person uh, was angry ginge yes he was like the breakthrough and then i don't think it was a year before but a, a couple years ago like nico had his breakthrough and mm -hmm. he was like the creator that really came through yeah we had ginge last year is there anybody that you think would be that you got your eye on because i'll be honest with you if you asked me at the beginning of 2023 angry Ginge, i'll be like i'll be honest with you i don't even know who that is yeah I so don't. it's usually somebody that you just I have no know. idea about I'm not yet. like too tied in with those smaller groups or cliques. I I don't keep my eye on it enough to know. I don't really know any small creators like that. Yeah. So I wouldn't be able to tell you. I mean, just they just come out fucking nowhere. They do. Just and that's why they blow up. I think before Ginge blew up though, I did know him. Yeah. So I do remember like seeing him about and seeing his TikTok lives of him just yeah. and like little clips of him. Yeah. But it was very close to the blow up anyway. Who also had another big year this year. I thought it broke through to a different audience, potentially. Arthur TV. I thought he had a, a bit of a... Still making the same. His content, though, it, it, it is just, it's just Arthur TV's content. But in terms of, yeah, like it, you see him Becoming a lot more, more now. Exactly. now yeah. But I don't know He's if, more of a quote-unquote household YouTube name. Yeah, yeah. yeah in sense. the UK, he's becoming more... Yeah. Like it's part yeah. of the group and everything. Those boys are like, you got like George as well, like all that. that yeah, that thing. side's come up a little bit more, hasn't it? George. Yeah. They've done well transitioning. What from about TikTok. Italia, Italian Bear? Yeah, he, he's, yeah, that was someone that blew up in 2023. Yeah. And he's doing well. He's funny as fuck. I'm trying to think. You got, you got a creator that you reckon oh. might do it in 2024? I mean, I'll be honest with you. It's, it's, it's like 99% of the time, it's just somebody that is so low on the radar right now. And then they just go crazy because they got yeah. some little unique thing about them. Yeah. Or they've figured out some idea. Exactly. It's so never a algorithm based thing. It's always like some unique trait or yeah. some they found something that nobody but, else is capitalizing on or doing. But this is why yep. you see when people are always saying, oh man, like YouTube's so saturated and all this is like, yeah, there are loads of people making YouTube videos. Everybody, you know, would like to do this as a job, et cetera, et cetera. But if you're listening now and you have a cool idea mm -hmm. or you have a style that you think is just sick and da da da, you should just do it. Mm. Because like we said, we don't even know the person that is that we're gonna be saying the name at the end of this year. So why can't that be, Could be you, somebody man. listening in? You do, and, and, and when people go and do it, they always say, oh, can you give me a tip for YouTube? Genuinely, just don't do what people are already doing. Yeah. People look at other videos and go, I need to be making it like this, or I need to be doing it like this. And there's obviously certain elements in terms of maybe like quality. Yeah, sure. But in terms of like ideas and execution, you should be doing it your own style, a hundred percent. Because I just don't, I mean, you're talking about the people like Angry Jane, who was like a live streamer. Mm. And it was his through. personality really. It, it had his, a little bit yeah. of unique personality, like everything kind of in one, that package. He, had the, he has the accent for it. But his yeah. accent matches his personality, the way he acts, the way he reacts. It's just yeah. all one good package. Yeah. That's what people enjoy.
I so if you're one of those people who thinks you have that unique package, then just do it. Fucking go, man. Just try it, man. I don't have a name per se, but I think we'll see this year a UK creator mm. that follows the similar kind of veil to um, Outdoor Boys and Sam Sulek. You know, mm. this lo-fi style of co content where it's not any crazy editing, very like long form, mm. just sort of let the video run, lots of empty spaces of video. I think we'll have a UK person do that. Maybe. Not necessarily like a doing something as interesting as Outdoor Boys. Yeah. But I think there'll be someone from the UK who breaks through in that genre. Maybe. I, I, what I was going to say is that, I reckon... That was a decent shout, by the way. I, I, I like that shout. I reckon there's going to be somebody in the live streaming world again, but this time it's going to be more Kaisenat style. Of, or like the UK? Yeah, like that. You, you know, like, uh, or maybe not even like sitting at a desk because he tends to stay in his room most of the time, but I'm thinking like an IRL streamer. Oh yeah, we had a lot of... I, I personally look, I'll be honest with you, I don't like IRL. I, I hate all that stuff. Yeah, That's not just for not me. for me. I, I Even watching it, I, I find myself like cringing inside a lot, but I do think it's what people want to watch. And I think that the UK always tends to lag behind the US by about a year, a year and a half. So it wouldn't surprise me if you see a couple big IRL UK streamers. Yeah. You know who would have been good for that? What was that guy called that was causing absolute havoc in the UK? That kid. Oh, from Squid Games. Nah, he would be good for that though. Sam. Yeah. Hussein. Hussein. He would be good for that. But no, I'm thinking about the one that was in the news and stuff. Oh, Mizzy. Miz Mizzy. Mizzy. Yes. Oh my God, was Mizzy 2022? Um... Or 2023. Just, oh, that's just a good one there. About, broad, yeah. Thinking about the audience that loves these kind of IRL streams. Yeah. He's got, he's, you know, you have to be someone that's you, getting up to shit that you shouldn't really be getting up to doing things wasn't that a big most people the, wouldn't want to do. I, I, I think he might be too... Too on the nose? Too, yeah. too crazy? Also yeah, as well, know. doing that shit in London, it will just get him like, he'll just get fucked up from it. Yeah. it he'll do it to the wrong person. What, what, what happened to What's he up to? He, he well, oh no because he I think part of a uh, one of his like jail conditions or something no he didn't go to jail but it was like he wasn't allowed to post on social media oh yeah for X Y Z I think it was something like that so mm. that's probably why you haven't seen much but maybe when that term is up or ended mm -hmm. he might he might he's he might big on Snap back. I think okay right yeah. there you go then yeah maybe maybe, maybe that's that that doesn't yeah. surprise me to be fair so yeah literally today by the way yeah there's something that came out here that says Japan's a Japan Airlines plane on fire after apparent collision at Tokyo Airport. Now, one of the boys in the group chat is saying that a plane landed on another plane. Nah. Nah, that's always one of them things you think about in your head when you're sat on the plane. BBC Breaking News have said 16 minutes ago, oh no, five people died on board a oh, Coast Guard God. plane that collided with Japan Airlines jet at Tokyo. It was a small Coast Guard plane. Yo, they had the earthquake what? out of this. I need more. I need more. I need more info. I'm going to need more info. Are you... That, that That's what I got so far. Well, I've got a picture oh, up on the that's screen. That's brutal. So this is... So a smaller yeah. plane crashed into a Japanese airline plane. And that's what it looks like no, on so the it's runway. It's a full-on passenger plane, yeah. You know what was crazy? That was the same airline that Harry was telling the story about on the Christmas special. Was it? Yeah. Japanese sure? uh, JL123. Oh, Japanese wow. Airlines. Can't remember that. <laughs> yeah. You were leathered on that oh, one. Oh, gone. Um, <laughs> Maybe two gone. We're, we're, we're on a sober 2024. Don't worry, guys. Are we doing dry jam, by the way? We are, aren't we? I don't mind. I feel like I have no plans. Like, there's Maybe. no, Wait, no plans in January. Wait, is this it moving with in flames? Oh, it is. Oh, right? my God. Oh, yeah. You can see it on fire at the back. And it, so where is it, it landed on it then? No, nah, that's the, that's not. I, the I heard though that it was the big plane landed on the small plane. Yeah, that would make sense if the bottom of the plane is... Fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, the people on board the Coast Guard plane have all died, I think. Here we go. Coast Guard flight. Flight Radar flight. 24, which tracks flights across the world, um, has offered more details on the collision. It said the accident happened at 5.47 local time as Japanese airline flight was landing. The Japanese Coast Guard aircraft, um, also known as... Uh, a what, certain we don't type need of aircraft. Uh, it's not equipped with modern ADSB transponder, the flight radar said. So it didn't have the correct thing to spot the plane. 
So he no, can just but see maybe. it though. Oh but, oh, but it's in the dark. Ah. Yeah, oh, but surely shit. it's the re- surely it's the um the uh, the radio no, tower it's saying people. It didn't the have control- the correct thing to speak to the radio tower. Oh, I'm mate, you've got to be able no, to speak I to the radio. Sure. The There's no way. Isn't that the thing that sends the plane position? Yeah, it the, sends like yeah. the data and stuff. But but he, surely, if you're landing at an airport, there's somebody on the blower. Yeah. Oh, someone's obviously just gone. Or it's malfunctioned. Just gone. I don't know. Tits, or... That is so sad, though. Bro, 2024 and Japan have not started off well. So did um did people actually die? Yeah, five uh, six people died. Here we are. This is the plane that crashed with it. So what yeah, was it's it? Not, by the way, they're saying it's small. Like, yeah, it's small. It's still an aircraft, what? though. Like, it's not like one of those little toy ones. This is still a still a serious thing. Was it the Was it the people in the Coast Guard yeah. flight that died? Yeah, yeah, because they got landed. Yeah, that, on. that was the small plane as well. Yeah, that makes sense. Wow. Anyways, look, that literally just happened. So that's that's kind of scary. Anyways, uh. Thoughts with the uh, with the Japanese people. Rough start to 2024, that's for sure. Yeah, it's only up from here. It, it, can, it has to be only up from here, man. Yeah, that oar fish was, 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 was on a mad Yeah, one. the oar fish gave it away. Yeah. The signs are there. Exactly. All right, we'll end on a, we'll end on a slightly uh, more positive note. Okay. All right, here we go. So a bunch of you boys uh, probably whacked up a little, little story and asked for the worst, your worst moments of 2023. Um, and here we go. Read out, read out the first one, Chip. I opened a train toilet door and saw someone snot in a line off of somebody's <laughs> penis. <laughs> that's great. That's got to be... Uh, By the way, that's got to be erect, first of all, for that to work. I was going to say like away days or something. <laughs> like you've got to be absolutely going at Wait, it. so is that your yeah, boy? Wait, wait, wait. I opened a train toilet door. I- I'm hoping this was like a chick doing a line. Because if it, like, can you imagine having that conversation with your boy? Like, oh. yo, do you want to do a line? He's like, yeah, man, I'm well done. He's like... Oh, All right, but you gotta do it off my knob. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, could have been too much. <laughs> yeah, I hope you got it for free. Sounds like some salt burn shit, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Holy crap! Next one here is I walked in on my ex sleeping with my sister. Oh tough day. my god, that is tough. Tough oh. day. <sighs> you know what? You can leave that sort of stuff behind in 2023. By the way, if that was the case, that like, you're not mates with your sister, right? Yeah, you gotta be. Is it not fair game though? What? <laughs> Well, it is your ex, you know, probably trying ah. to get it on a technicality. <laughs> probably got a dog in him. Go on, Chip. I think we got a nice long one here. When my missus went out, I decided to bang out a bit of porn. Who <laughs> <laughs> says it like that, man? Who <laughs> says it? <laughs> <laughs> However, she was still sitting in her car on the driveway when I started watching. No sound was coming out my phone. Turns out it's connected to the car, so I a car speakers. <laughs> oh. oh, that is a stink. You hear about that oh. with like the family one as well. Oh. That one's. Just Have so- you ever done that when you've been connected like to a speaker at a party? Yeah. And then you're like in the bathroom and someone sends you some like porn sound video yeah. and it's just blaring in. I had it. No, where was I? I was uh, oh, on the train back from uh scotland from christmas yeah randy chucked in a porn sound one i've clicked it bro the, the train's dead quiet I and i've have, been done I with the I porn noise as well same one maybe <sighs> oh i, I want to leave that behind man i got I- done in paris with that i was in the kiff store and it was like just really like quiet and like <laughs> atmospheric music that i was scrolling my phone whilst i was paying and waiting for the woman to take my payment and i think it was one of you boys had sent a porn video or something <laughs> Or like one of the porn sound ones. I play it out loud and my phone's on full volume and she's just served me and just looks at my oh, girlfriend. Oh, you're getting, you're getting tilled up. Look, yeah, yeah, yeah. She looks at my girlfriend like really awkwardly. No. And I'm just like, I just don't look up from my phone. The I'm just staying looking have down. I'm just so like, red. and you got the little smirk on you like, and then yeah. you, I just turn around. It's just especially like, oh. what you're in Paris. Like, I, you can't say to a French brother, like, oh, I've been done by the porn joke. You know what I mean? They're yeah. like, <laughs> If you're in the UK, they'd know what you're on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like the French aren't. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, Next one. I traveled to London from the US. I went on a night out to a place called Prism and ended up blacking out. I woke up on the curb outside with none of my belongings. To this day, I have no recollection of what happened and never want to return to the UK. Damn. That just sounds like a normal night out in the UK. I'm going to be honest. I know you're from the US, but... I'll be honest with you that your your story resonates with uh, with thousands of other students. <laughs> yeah, that happened that to you. Welcome to our country, didn't it? Yeah, it's always that's happened to me multiple yeah. multiple times. Really. Oi, 
Can we quickly say about Chip on the group chat the other day about not trusting iCloud? <laughs> Did you see that on yeah, the chat? But, no, I'm not saying I ain't got iCloud. Oh, come off it, boys. Yeah. Well, did you not, you're not aware of the iCloud hacks that happened. Yeah, sure. But like the chance, what, what have you got on your iCloud that, that they could have that's I got I got pictures awesome. of videos of Chip that you never want to see. <laughs> Everyone's got bad shit on the fucking camera. Yeah, but like, like nights out and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe. All right. Fair Here's enough. Plus, you just would even if even if so, like you still just wouldn't want someone having your camera, or like you just it'd be anxiety yeah. riddled day. But it, that's what the cloud is. Everyone's got uh, the cloud. No, everyone, because I don't. No, yeah, you'd be surprised. I think you have now lost loads of memories because you didn't have a backup. I don't give a shit local phone. storage. Local yeah. storage caught my brain. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. Anyways, look, we're going to wrap it up there. Look, this has been the first podcast. I've, enjo I've enjoyed this podcast, actually. It's been a chilled one. Um, we'll get back to it, of course. Uh, if you guys can leave it. Uh, you know, it's nice. It, I know we were slagging off the YouTube comments before, but I quite like reading them. So please do leave a yeah, comment yeah. about so, whatever you want. Say something positive, guys, because we're going into 2024 now. Hey, and how we're about trying this? To love and compassion, eh? Manifest something in the comments. Yeah. Leave that in. The, if you made it all the way to here, manifest something in the comments. Like do that. that. If you I haven't like already. Uh, oh, by the way, I just want to quickly touch on the Spotify video stuff because yeah. just super quickly, yep. it's just some admin that we got to clear up. Um, there is no more video on Spotify. Now, originally when um, we ended our deal with Spotify, we wanted to keep video we on did. there. Now, the way the RSS feeds and all this sort of stuff works, unfortunately, the just the way it's ended up is that Spotify, we couldn't come to an agreement with Spotify to keep video on there mm. just because it's all just like contract bullshit. It's kind of annoying. It's a real shame because we've lost the video to a lot of other episodes. And let me, I promise you guys, no one is more disappointed than we are that we can't have video on there because we wanted to continue uploading video on there. Yeah, we're not the, trying to deprive anyone of Yeah, video. yeah. And we, we weren't even there like, oh, we want, like, it wasn't like a money thing. We, we never wanted that at all because like yeah. I said, we were going to upload all the video. We, do what you guys want to do. But unfortunately, the way the contract worked, the way Spotify yeah. operate, in order for this to mm -hmm. to work, we, we weren't able to do it. And we, we are sorry about that, but we did try our best. And I promise you, it, it's not on us. Put it that way. So yeah, we'll leave it there, guys. Keep you all in the loop. Look, 2024 is going to be a great year for this podcast. We, we, we can't thank you all enough for, for the incredible support. Um, and crazy stuff on the way. I uh, Yeah, I'll be honest with you. The announcement, I mean... I it's going to be early Feb. I'm thinking yeah, there, there's going to be I a big fat. It announcement. was meant. Yeah. It, early Feb, I think. Yeah. We, we, we really originally were hoping for mid Jan, but due to us wanting to get this absolutely perfect, it's going to be yeah, we'll early. Be Feb. Refining. Wow. I'm excited. Yeah, Let I, me know. I, even talk I, to I, we'll, we'll chat to you guys all in a little bit. Chip. Yep. Tell them. Uh, make sure you subscribe, all that good stuff. Yeah, oh, well, we're back on YouTube now. So yeah, subscribe. You can head over to Spotify, Rails 5000. You can now listen to the podcast on Apple Podcasts. I know some of you actually enjoy using that. So we're available on Apple now. All well. platforms. All platforms now? Yeah. We're available on all platforms. So you can listen to the fellas wherever you want. We're sorry about the Spotify video. But anyway, we'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye. Uh,